We'll, we'll go to the regurgitated boys thing. The regurgitated boys thing. The regurgitated yeah, my boys microphone. Thing. Remember that a few episodes ago, I broke a microphone. Well, it's just not working now. I, did I do anything to it? No. It's been literally sitting in the same spot this whole time. Now I got to go back to this freaking thing. Have fun editing that noise. Ben's in the middle of moving. I got the my football team on Thursday night football right now. Yeah, this is a Thursday. We moved the recording. Are you? Wait, getting, are you? Are you, are you double screening it or something? You're just watching. Yeah, it I got my side. laptop. That's actually over sick there. as fuck. That's sick as hell. But, but we're getting blown out by the worst team in football. It's 27 to three the about to go in the half from the Mets. They haven't won a game. Uh, what is it? I, th- I think it's been like a calendar year since the Chicago bears won a game and we're down 27 to three. Fuck off. Ben, Ooh. I've been thinking about this. Since our last episode, you uh, in Cleveland makes a lot of sense to me. You give me Cleveland man energy. So I'm happy for you that you're moving. What is Cleveland man energy? Tell me what Cleveland man energy is. I don't know. You're just like a – you're like a – how do I put this? You're a pork sausage guy, you know, like you ooze – like pierogi energy, you know, like I use pierogi. Like, what the fuck does pierogi have to do with Cleveland, Ohio? <laughs> Wait, that I don't, I don't know. Understand. You're just, you just seem like the salt of the earth, you know, like, uh, like a, like a, like a big, 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 happy man, you know, um, <laughs> big, happy country bumpkin man like gives 50. you, gives I look you a 45 years old. I look fucking you're like 45 one P on my screen on my end. So it's, it's <laughs> tough for it, me to really it, say, it, you know, but knowing you, Hmm? Oh, you go for a sec. Oh, I was just saying, like, knowing you, like, I know what you look like. I know what your mannerisms are. Like, you know, surely your, you know, little anime boy e thing doesn't exactly scream Cleveland, Ohio to me. But everything else about you, you'll fit in. You'll be fine. I think so. I think you're right. And you know, when I go there, yeah. I go there in nine days. Wow. You excited? Are you nervous? Dude, I have so much to, I have so much to talk about regarding that. But the first thing I want to say <clears throat> is that I'm pissed. For years, for probably six years, I was asking my old man to to uh, uh to set me up with Ethernet. That's why he was hardwired to my oh, internet, now that right? you're moving out, he's like, This is a great opportunity no. to hardwire the whole no. house with Ethernet. I ended up getting it because I have a buddy, an electrician, Barney. He he drilled a hole on, in my basement and he drilled a hole in my wall. Yo, Sean's here. Look at him, like a looking like a handsome the guy hell? with COVID. Um, Thank you. Oh, I forgot. You totally said you had COVID somewhere, and I just ignored you. I did say it somewhere. You did say it somewhere. Um, but what was I saying? Um, oh, so we we got we finally got Ethernet. We finally got Ethernet, right? And then I had it for maybe a year and a half. And now I'm back mm-hmm. in the living room for two weeks. Um, hey, he's been on the podcast before. Yes. Who? Yes, he has. Ethan. Uh, I forget. I don't know. Oh. Your electrician um, friend, whoever his name is. Bar- was uh, it Barney? Barney? Was it Barney? No, I was oh, going to no, say wait. Ethan. I was trying to make an Ethan joke, but I'm oh, not there yet. Well, no why, why were you trying to make oh, an Ethernet. Ethan joke? What did Ethan have to do? Ethernet. He's not an electrician. E- Ethernet. Oh, Ethernet. Ethernet. <laughs> Ethernet. Uh, Ethan, that's what, I, what, what it's called when he joins this podcast. <laughs> that's true. Call that uh, ether, Ethan. Me oh. when I need to catch the ether bunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this this is this is awesome. I'll be um, there. I'll, I'll catch up. I'll catch up. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So, so yeah. Now your now, COVID now, brain's rubbing off on me. Yeah. Now I'm on. Uh, hey, do you want me to interrupt you one more time, or should okay, I just yeah, let you know? Yeah, you, you, you want me to do that? Oh yeah, yeah. Go, no, go ahead. You're good. Take your time. I'm waiting. I'm waiting what for you to interrupt me. Just fucking what, what drinking. Is that? What is that? It's soy drinking? powder. Mm. It's soy powder and peanut butter. Isn't that that thing that's made from humans? Yeah, that was a bold branding. Isn't that where they get their name from? That short yeah, story know, or novel? Did you know, where, there's a, a Roomba knockoff called iRobot. Yes, a, I think we had a show. One. That's a, I zombie. Fuck. Um, what is okay, iRobot? No, wait, wait, Why is wait, that bad? Wait, iRobot is the Isaac Asimov thing about the Who robots. the fuck is Isaac Asimov? Bro, watch too much Chernobyl. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Um, I'm, my point is that I'm on Wi-Fi and everything is like slightly slower and it makes me so much more angry. Yeah. Um, you look 1P on my screen. Sean looks yep. decent. 
So that might yep. explain My internet you. isn't even bad. That's the that's the thing that makes me the most annoying. Oh, the most annoying. Me, 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 idea. Put put your face in its uh, in like two p on the screen with a text of uh, um, my face when I'm on Wi Fi, and it's just a compressed version of Robot Rock. Yeah, you just can't even see me in the picture. You just see like a, a, a blur. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong song. Oh well. Well, one of the two songs. So, yeah, it's close enough it. though. It's actually good. I'm drinking yeah. coffee for the first time since I had a uh, pumpkin. Every episode, you're drinking spice coffee. coffee for the first every time. episode. Mm. Did and you make a pumpkin spice like coffee? Shit. No. Uh, I got it from. Where did you get a pumpkin Dunkin spice donuts? Because Dunkin' Donuts has the best pumpkin spice coffee. Don't fucking at me. That's, that's, that's not you also live in the time. land of Dunkin'. Wait until you move to fucking Cleveland and the, and the Dunkin's not as good. Dude, I've the been Uber there. Eats, the Uber Eats in Dunkin' goes. Or so, what the fuck? The Uber Eats in Cleveland goes sicko mode. Actually I don't insane. I don't <laughs> the Uber, Uber Eats. Eats in Cleveland goes sicko mode. Get Why? Down, How down do you know this? Bro, what did you get? Mic- and they have a microwave in all their cars or whatever. It, it is, <laughs> no, it is W, not L or mid. It is W. Isn't that cool? Cool Uber Eats, W Uber Eats in Cleveland. It's sick. Oh, I hope you get fucking stabbed hey guys, in your first week. What's the deal with Uber Eats food? Uh, what? Food, I, don't, I don't know. What? I was trying to Dude, say. All right, like, give, move, pause, script next, it out. Dude, script it out. Script pass, it out. Pass. Um, okay, but you were we'll saying get there. We'll get there. I, I'm moving out, right? And we talked about this on episode Put 31. In the entirety of that Billy Joel song. Which one? I'm moving out. I don't know how the song yeah, goes. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> it's it's it. It'd be weird if it was another Billy Joel song. <laughs> um, yeah, put in Allentown after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm in my living room right now. Zach, you didn't even notice I was in my living room. Yeah, um, but, I, he joined the call, and I was like, "Are you still in your bedroom?" He says, "No, I'm in my living room." And I go, "Why that, is your living room looking exactly like your bedroom?" That wasn't on my wall, Zach. What the fuck is this square? It, it virtually looks the same. I mean, I'm sure if I compared it side by side, it wouldn't. But like, I can't it's see like that. Different. Shit. Hey, nice water bottle. Yeah, I was. That was going to be my gift to you uh, on Saturday. But yeah, if you don't show up, you're getting it back, pussy. Ass. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay, but that that that. So I'm moving out. All my stuff, like pretty much all my stuff, is packed. I have I have a few d- uh, random things, sports things in my office. Some doodads, and stuff. some doodads, some ditties. Uh, Saturday, we're having a little get together as a send off party. Wow, buggers! Um, and, and it's gonna be a, it's gonna be just a few friends. Sean got COVID, so he might not show up, or he might. Um, and they're gonna play Yu Gi Oh. Wow. Some Yu Gi Oh. Dude, Yu Gi Oh is actually sick, and I I'm not gonna play it, and I'm not gonna get physical cards for it, but I will enjoy my right now I was joe, Yu-Gi-Oh kid. it's so good joe um he's been hyping up Yu-Gi-Oh. he played master duel on steam and now he's like playing with physical cards and shit and i'm like i'm enjoying his hype so much i because i fucking love Yu-Gi-Oh. so i'm really enjoying my my friends like the fad of um playing and, and enjoying Yu-Gi-Oh. i'm not gonna they're playing with physical cards and i could not be fucked due to physical cards even if i was living why I don't want. I just don't want to play it that much. <laughs> I don't want to spend the money. Oh, either. so you don't want to spend the money on the card? But like, if I came over with physical Yu Gi Oh cards, oh you're yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you're, you're not throwing them away. I actually you get those physical cards out of my face. I actually, speaking of that, and this is another tangent. My older brother Chris, he's an extremely intelligent fella, and you he, just keep pulling new brothers out of your ass. I know. I know. Wait to hear he, about Mark. Well, he had, he, he's the one with that had three cancers. You, you've heard about this. Oh, Jesus before. Christ. I can't wait until I hear about Craig. Craig? Oh, Craig. That's a different Craig, story. Craig's got okay. a funny list. Uh, Craig's list? <laughs> no. Oh, my <laughs> God. No, he just keeps rolling. No, he's doing great. <laughs> Buddy, um, you're on fire tonight. Um, I, Dude, I wish I could set a house on fire in New England. Dude, so there's... um. Actually, this was Graham Stephan and Meet Kevin back in the day did this video where they went to Detroit. Uh, this was a long time ago. They went to Detroit to look at for those like one dollar homes. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, those like abandoned yeah, homes. Right. And so but there's just neighborhoods of them like on the outskirts of Detroit. Well, I, I'm not familiar with Detroit, like um, the, the area of Detroit enough to know where in Detroit it is. Yeah, but, yeah. You know. So they're going there and they're doing this like YouTube report thing mm. on those cheap homes. And in the middle of it, one of the homes they're looking at catches on fire. 
And so they go outside and the police show up and they're asking the police questions like, what the fuck? This house just uh, went on fire. Um, and the police are like, yeah, because like no one wants these homes and they attract crime and like, you know, no, no one owns it. Like no one's going to like chase after them. It's like a common pastime for like teenagers and like, uh, sick. you know, criminal yeah, sick people to come around and just burn homes down. Uh, and so people just go to these neighborhoods and just randomly start burning homes. And as they're interviewing them, like a second home catches on fire, like two streets over. And so this guy is just walking through the neighborhood, like burning homes down for fun. Oh, sick. And the police are like, that yeah, people do that. That's yeah. actually kind of sick. I would do that. Mm. Can I if say I that? knew I could get away with it and I knew no one lived there. Or yeah, get why not? Hurt or a forest fire. Like I would just start. I'd start a thinking forest about. fire in the urban sprawl of Detroit. Yeah. I mean, they, they, do, the be, they do be smoking trees oh, or something. Yeah, well, um, what do you mean by they? On the topic of my brother had three can- types of cancer. Uh, he used to play a lot of Magic the Gathering. And I didn't like it when I was younger. When I was like in college, I didn't really like, care for it that much. But recently I've been fiending for some Magic the Gathering. So I found on Steam, there's actually a free Magic the Gathering. Uh, I heard that was game. literally the worst one. Yeah, it is, it is kind of trash. and There isn't any other option. So me and Chris uh, are just going to play that. Yeah, fair, fair enough. I had, I had friends in college that played Magic the Gathering. And I literally was like, oh, there's one on Steam. And they were like, that is the worst one. That they were the like, "There's." A, they gave me a bunch of websites, and I'm like, nah, I'm "Yeah." Okay. Um, so I'm excited about that, but uh, yeah. So I'm uh, all packed. I, I got 11 uh, packages from Amazon today for day one stuff. I spent twenty two hundred dollars. What do you on mean, Amazon twenty one packages. packages on on what? Uh, just like needed like trash cans, dish rack. Uh, utensils, knife. Did they, block. Did I feel you like you could them? go to like a dollar store yeah, and wait, find serviceable enough stuff. And did you yeah, ship you them to Ohio or? No, they're here. It's a bold okay. move. Fuck it. Well, I, I have enough space in the U-Haul. I'm yeah, no, right. fuck it. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I just. I, wrong, I, right? I, I, I bought a fuck ton of stuff and I bought like a hundred dollar shower head that makes it makes the water. It's it, it normally charge like that big. It's like fucking huge, and it so, you, you, they can go up. We had one of the, I got an Airbnb in Denver. Spoiler alert: I spent some time in Denver, Colorado, since the last episode. And um, the Airbnb that I purchased had one of those, and I was kind of disappointed by it, which was weird because I'm a, I'm a tall guy, so typically when I go to new places, I'm taller than the shower head, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I have to like get down to take a shower, and it's a bit of a nuisance. Mm-hmm. Um, a bit of a nuisance. I don't know why I said it like that. Why did you say it in but, like, Canadian? Uh, a bit of a nuisance. Maybe maybe more the Baltimore in me. But um, so they, they got a big, um, one of those big shower head type things. But I felt disappointed in it because the water pressure was so little. Because yeah. it had to spread out so like yeah. much that like the, I just felt like I was it getting like, like drizzled on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to fucking blast like my ass, blasted. you know? Yeah, I was going to say, I love being blasted in the shower. I was blasting my ass. Yeah, Sean, the microphone that I spent more money on fixing, it just doesn't work right now. So, We're, so if it's, if it's broken, broken, he's going to invest and uh, the my microphone set up. That hmm. is so not what I want to do right now. Uh, <laughs> it's not even, I have so much more stuff I need to be spending money on right now. Oh, dude, b- believe you me, I've, I've blasted through pretty much half of my, not been a half, I'm being a oh, hyperbolic, but a lot of, a lot of money just trying to move, get in the fucking door. Like I, you don't think about, maybe you do, but you don't really think about how much shit you need just to just oh, like oh, everyday yeah. shit. I, yeah. When I lived in my last apartment, it was like it, it, stuff just kept popping up where you, I was like, really, I need that now. Like, yeah, when, when that's uh, not just free, the government doesn't just provide net, like <laughs> paper towels to people. Yeah, yeah. Like, they don't just <laughs> magically appear. When Haley and I were moving into our apartment, I think I spent the last week I was living with my parents. I would take a note every time I used anything. So like, make coffee teapot that's really smart builders. and then, that is smart but i feel like i would forget like just so stuff would be would so minuscule that, that i would thing. forget yeah. Yeah, that i would forget it was in my very day to do difficult it. it was yeah. very difficult to do that but i like because i i if i don't like write something down it's just fucking gone yeah i'm, I'm with you I, I have to i set an alarm for fucking everything dude it's actually awful but yeah like i'm like buying i bought like a bougie garbage can and then three not bougie but garbage cans 
I had to buy oh, like. Did you get a hand the, wavy one? Yeah. Yep. And I'll ever make that motion it. again. What the heck? Uh, RGB in it, bro. What the fuck? Why does it have colors? It was like a hundred. I think it was like one hundred thirty dollars. Whoa! Or you want your trash can trying? to get lit? I don't think it was actually that much. What question is that? Little Rock um, Nine type of question. My um, commies game is back on. Get them, you oh, fuckers. Um, I don't dude, watch soccer. There, but there's so <laughs> there's so much. There's just so much shit. There's so much shit. Um, and I have to like I had to like call the the electric company and the water company and the gas yeah. and sewer company yeah. to make sure shit was in my name. It's just a lot. Um, I, I low key. It, it's kind of like a dopamine hit every time I do a thing, so it, it's actually kind of satisfying. It feels, if you um, if you gamify it, I, for me personally, gamifying it made it really like reward. Like, so I would like yeah. literally. Haley told me this was like nerdy shit, but I don't give a fuck because fuck women. But I would like <laughs> assign points to myself. So like, uh, if I made a phone call, I'd be like plus ten points or whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was getting like hype at the end of the day because I'd be like, fuck, on a hundred points, yeah. all right. Yeah, and it's just, it's just. When you have like a list that big and you can sort of go do, 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 like, you know, it's like the completionist yeah. mindset, I guess, a little bit. I would just um, steal things. Go ahead. Well, you know, like toilet paper, paper towel, stuff like that. Like you're out at like, Your parents you know, like are an nerd. office. Well, not for my parents, but like you're out at like Walmart and they just have like an extra roll up on top of the thing in the stall. It's like, well, they're not going to fucking who cares? Sean, can I ask you something before before he gets? I don't know if he's going to continue. Can you? No, just, I mean that's it. Just like small little things, right? Like you know, you fucking yeah. Just just what else take you a napkin. Just tell me, uh, like plastic forks and shit. You know, like yeah. it, sauces, like I, I, it's Dude, that kind of stuff. I I found a hack. I found a crazy hack. Whoa, life you hack! Can, you can get free utensils from IHOP. So you can get Buddy, like I have uh, news for you. You can get yeah. free utensils at more places <laughs> than I have. On Uber Eats, that's what I meant to say. You can go. You can go on Uber Eats. You can order a hundred utensils for like a like a three dollar delivery Ooh. fee. Oh, now you can melt it down to either like silver or aluminum too, and sell it like the raw materials, or maybe you smelt them if you have a smelter. Metal utensils? No, they're they're plastic. They're hundred percent plastic. Oh well, then why the fuck are you telling me this? I can get <laughs> plastic utensils. I could walk into my local Panda Express, go to the fork thing and go, and then walk out. You have to leave your house. That's the thing. Yeah, that's a you problem, buddy. Damn right it is. That's why I was thinking about it. Sean, wait, wait, Why does the Uber Eats a W in Cleveland, Ohio? What's that about? What's different about the Cleveland Uber Eats? You want to know about the W Uber Eats in Ohio? Yeah. All right. I'm going to load it up. Uber Eats in Ohio sounds like a bad meme. That sounds like a, 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 a Midwest emo song. I love. I'm a sucker for Midwest emo, emo like math rock shit. I I like yeah. a lot Speaking of kind of, of music, but I don't know if I'm you would have seen this. You might have. You were able to see this. I don't know if you would have seen this. Um, my grandma. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> I don't know if you were able to see this. My grandma died. <laughs> my my, uh, my grandma died like in 2019 in October, and at some point I said I knew I was going to forget the day she died, so I sent myself mm. a reminder. And as usual, each year, I forgot what day she died. And then I woke up like two days ago to my phone alarm saying, Grandma died, get up and have breakfast or whatever. And our friend David was like, uh, hey, that would be a good emo song. <laughs> Grandma died, get up we, and have um, that's a good idea, though. I, If I'm being honest with you, um, there's been a few elders in my family that have passed over the past couple of years. And, you know, I think about them clearly. But if I'm being honest with you, I could not tell you the dates that they that they died yeah so i should start a my own separate like google gmail account for its own google calendar because i don't want to just scroll yeah. through my calendar and yeah. see like grandma died mm-hmm. grandpa died blah, blah 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 but like i could create like like uh marshall family deaths at gmail.com you know and then just, oh, and add, just have that add every yeah, that's, family that's anniversary idea. death yeah. it's a good idea but it's kind of morbid to create that gmail account but then yeah, your google drive it. could also be like family memory pictures that's true that's true that's true and you could and, and you could you could do the thing where you remember that uh the guy who did, who did the tiktok or the musically in front of in front of his, his like dying grandfather's like oh yeah dun, 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 dun. you know what i'm talking about that guy there's people that twerk on graves too and this guy on tiktok raps aggressively to lyndon b johnson's grave he died <laughs> the 
your swallow was a uh, comedic timing on point. Yeah. I think I could hear it too, which was even funnier. <laughs> oh, I could. That's why I knew it happened. Um, so I just want to show you, bro. W, look at this shit. Look at that. Look at that Cannot fucking bird. I can't that see it. Yeah. Yeah. My oh, fucking commie scored. Yeah, fuck you. Hell yeah. Hell, hell yeah, commie. What's up? Your uh, commie score? Sw- Swinton- <laughs> well, the Washington Commanders. They're on the, Swinton- they're the Thursday night football Swinton- slate today. Swinton- they're my team. Swinton- 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 Swinton's drive-in. It has burgers. The fuck is Swenson's McDonald's. Drive-in. Bro? Boom Boom Phillies. It's actually okay, why of- is this a W? So it, 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 Uber Eats delivers restaurants in your area. So you're just saying you live by more restaurants, or yes. is there a cheaper <laughs> delivery? Yeah, so, so basically, Boom, Ben hates going nobody. outside. So it's not that it's not that <laughs> it's not that that he lives near good restaurants, or it is that he lives near good restaurants. But that's not the highlight. The highlight is that he's allowed I don't to have stay to leave home. The house, yes, yes. yes. Okay. They have boom, boom, Phillies. Is it's that. just funny to me because I live in like a top five, <laughs> at least top ten, maybe top yeah. five populated city in the country. I have so dude, you're, living where I'm at. I have like six things. This yeah, is although, like if I'm being honest with you, I, I, I live in the boonies outside of that city, so like I get that luxury when I'm at someone's house. I don't get that luxury. Yeah, but do you have a I fucking boom, boom, Phillies? Live. Do you have a boom, boom, Philly, Zach? No. Do you have a fucking? Yeah, you didn't have a fucking um, boom. Of course, you don't have a boom. Do you have a yummy sub and grill? I'll give you, you a, a yummy Puff? sub and grill. You, uh, Go you Puff a is a separate service. Do you have a Baskin Robbins? Uh, not near here, but there is yeah, one. You don't, of course you don't. That's because I, I have W Uber Eats and you don't. In Cleveland, mm-hmm. you should work for the Cleveland Tourism Board. Why the hell would I do that? I don't want to talk to anybody. Well, fuck? you can pitch people on the concept of W Uber Eats in Cleveland. Oh, ben doesn't want anyone point. there so that he can reap all of the Uber yeah. Eats rewards. I want to reap all the Uber Eats benefits. I'm going to get Uber One and I'm not going to leave my house ever. Um, I will tell you, though. Uh, He's since last tell me. podcast, it's been about a month since last, last podcast. And I I've missed you. you. My heart. I missed you, Zach. We haven't we haven't talked. We should. I, I keep I saying know, every we time talk we talk, more. we should talk. Life's more. been busy yeah. for me too. You've been really busy packing up and dealing with shit. I've been on my own journey. I wish I was with you. Yeah, I, well, I, I will. Say, I think we will see each other sooner. Not not soon, but in due time. I know we've been will, talking about it, but I think there is a loose plan somewhere. Zach, I, I want to make tell your you, plans loose. I want to. I want to tell you fucking plans. I want to tell you right now, Zach. I'm, I'll stretch those. Is it that? Your, is it that? Stretch your stretch fucking plans. calendar open, bro. I'm, no, don't stretch my calendar either. I, I want it to be as it is. I have, I, I have all my payments on there. Don't stretch it. I don't, I'm going to get all confused. <laughs> um, so I was, I was sitting in the car on the way to or from New Jersey, fantasizing, having sexual fantasies of what videos we could make together. Oh. Yep. I, I had, so what, IRL? I, yes. Yeah, IRL. Okay. I was so, uh, dude, I had so many good, I like just fun ideas of just dude, not even just like concepts start, of videos. Like start sending video. them to me. Well, not even, it's not, even, it's just like how things are shot kind of deal. And like, mm-hmm. and like how we could start a video and, and, and just, you know, cold opens and shit. I'm just, I, I am over the fucking moon with ideas. I just have to get cameras. Another laugh. You have a weekend, maybe in January where I will fly my ass out to Cleveland and you have a I weekend. Th- I'm going to attempt to get my two, ass. two a thousand dollars worth of cameras. Cool. We'll see what happens, or we'll just rent. Um, was there actually something you needed to tell me that was important? Oh yeah, wipe off You're your gay. camera. It's, it looks like you. you oh. oh yeah, I've been it. I've been handling it a lot actually lately. I'm glad yeah. you said something. Your shirt, bro. Is that, what is that? It's your mom. It's not my. It's no way. It's not my I was mom. just with my mom. Oh, it's better. <laughs> yeah, it's much better. Cool. You look good. No, I don't. Bro's clear now. I haven't, I haven't been able to use any of my shit because I've just been. Well, you look you look good for having having had COVID, but yesterday. Or uh, I've had COVID. COVID. I I technically still test positive, and I have a cough. And they recently put me on Paxlovid and prednisone for my breathing. What what is it now? Ten days before you can start talking, Three. like going with other people. Three. No, tec- no they've well, told no, me not. ten days. They technically said. Five days since my symptoms started or my first positive test is when I'm most infectious. But that technically speaking, the guidance is still wear a mask for the next five days if I'm in public. My mother, who is a nurse and a wonderful woman, 
told she is me, a wonderful woman. The SEC, FDA, ABC, NRA said that it's three days. Your mom's fucking weird, dude. The kid, actually, name, the kid name weird. <laughs> today, 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 we actually took family pictures because we're all kind of fucking off now. Like my after I leave, it's two weeks, and my parents are trying to leave. They're going to their their place down south, so everybody's kind of moving away. So we all we all did a uh, a little photo shoot today, and I looked like this. You look good. I you said this. Early, I said this earlier on uh, in Discord. I, well, dude, so I don't know what it is. Go back to episode one and look at how Ben looks. It, for, it, he looks like a different person almost. You, uh, no offense, Ben. Well, that's because you ben look good. good. Bigger. You, you very much look good, but it does look like you've aged like triple the amount that the show has been on the air. <laughs> You're probably right. It's but like, it's show. not a bad thing. Like, you do look good. It's just that like I met you at a time of rapid yeah. change in your life, and now yeah, you are a humunculus. Well, I want to show you. There's a actually huge dude. this picture of me and my mother that we took today gave me gave me a complex, and it. All right, before I even uh, let me show you this, and then I want to give you my ideal. Uh, well, I just got uh, ideals. I got ideals. My ideal um, well, uh, progression, phys- wow. physical progression. Okay, you ready for this? Mm-hmm. I, I look horrible in that picture, right? <laughs> I got all the fun. No, 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 no. You look, like, you look like someone's telling a true crime story on YouTube about a guy who murdered kids. And then that's like the only picture that comes up on Google Images when you look him up. I look fucked, bro. I look fucked in that picture. So I, that, no. that picture gave me like dementia. Like I, 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 don't, I don't know why I said dementia. That gave me, they, they gave me a complex, right? All right. So I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to buy bikes when I get to Cleveland. I'm going to go on bike trails. Okay. Because Alexis has shin splints, so she can't really like. I like to walk, but she has shin splints and walking. what are shin splints? So the there's some like liquid or some shit in her in your shins. So it's basically it in these? between between yeah. There's a liquid in those, here. There's a liquid in there between the. I think it's between the bone and How the muscle. If you if you stick a straw like a boba straw in there, you might be able to get some. <laughs> boba um, straws are thicker. I don't know if I want a boba straw. But so what it is, is the, the muscle and the, the, the bone are pretty much like dry rubbing up against one another and it hurts a lot. Right. Mm-hmm. But with biking, that doesn't happen. So I'm going to get us both bikes and we're going to do bike trails. Here is the progression of the, my, my ideal progression of me. Okay. Check this out. Okay. Stay with me. It starts weird. Mullet. Okay. Quit the podcast. Mullet. Podcast mullet. ends with mullet Ben. All right, right. Can we cut off this? Maybe this length hair here, long hair in the back. If that's if I can stop picking out my hair. How did, did you, how did your girlfriend feel about this plan to immediately? She be liked you with it a until mullet? she liked it until I said. Mo, mo, actually, she, no, yeah, there was no point that she liked it. I don't think <laughs> she um, really liked it. Yeah, that, that's talking. step yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so number one is mullet. Okay, number two, pedo stash. No joke. Don't call it that. If like you're gonna, gonna get go down one. to like, gonna like here, right? Cut off, cut off all that. Call it a keep, cop keep stash, an eighty stash. Don't lead with. Stash. I'm gonna look like a pedophile. It's a pedo stash, a mullet, and a pedo stash. The pro. The, here's the problem. Uh, do you, do you really? You're, you're, gonna, you're, you're gonna tell me what the problem is with you're that? Con- you're contextualizing me as this person. You have to, co- no, you have to contextualize I just don't a like, sexy no, man. No, it's just anyone coming up to me and saying, yeah, I'm going to look like a pedophile. I have no, a problem it's with It's just a stash, dude. It's just a stash. See, well, then just call it a stash. Why does it have to be a, a pedo stash as you're putting cause it? It's because it's, it's light, lightly colored. Do you see a color of my stash? That's a pedo color. So you're just saying anyone with your uh, skin and hair tone is a pedophile? Write that and, down. And, Get them, boys. And, oh, and with a mustache. And. Now you've mullet. lost me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get a pedo stash, right? Oh Fix my God. teeth over time, right? With Invisalign or what? Yeah, something like that. I did Invisalign and it worked wonders, and then I stopped taking the retainers, and my teeth are getting fucked up again. Yeah. So. Yeah. Bougie ass fake glasses, and I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm not talking Kanye West. I'm talking like, like so far he's yet crazy, to touch on any like, so, sort of weight loss. It's yet gallic- to be a, a single part of his plan. <laughs> galaxy galaxy said, I'm galaxy gonna start riding design. bikes then i'm gonna start molesting children <laughs> <laughs> then i'm gonna cut my hair <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
ga- galaxy, like galaxy, like shit, like crazy fucking fake glasses, right? Then, then I get fucking ripped, like just shredded. Like, like Kumail. I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a strong, like built twink, like Sean, right? But it's stronger than Sean. In in my, I'm gonna have better abs than Sean, right? I'm going to do a lot of squats. My ass is going to be so fucking fat. <laughs> is, this gonna, is it going to be that fat by the time I get to you in January? No, no. this is going to no. be a progression. The first thing I'm going to do is the mullet and I'm just going to wait for the rest to happen. Yeah. I got a mullet <laughs> and a thin ass. Um, yeah. It's what, so, the mullet is really what gets the ass going. So yeah. So mullet, bougie glasses, pedo stash, ripped twink bod, fat ass. Tell me that's you not based like I dubs. He doesn't have hipster glasses. I'd have the skinny as fuck. True. But he's going to start riding bikes, so. I'm going to start <laughs> riding know. bikes. So I'm going to get ripped do as fuck. It. No, I just yeah. meant he wouldn't be jacked. I'd have isn't jacked. Yeah, he's, I guess. Dude, he's pretty, he, I mean, when he was in his, like, peak physical form he's for toned. a greater clash, he looked he's good. He's toned. He's not jacked, though. I mean, like, when I think jacked, I'm, like, Ben, he's you. He's not bodybuilding. Ben, if you cut, like, literally, like, 15, 10, 15% body fat, I think he would already be jacked. I mean, like, you wouldn't actually be Jack, but you would look Jack. It'd be, like, called bear mode. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, most of that's fat, but, <laughs> but I mean, yeah. like. Zach, uh, Zach, I got I to gotta ask a question, and this might be a, a weird question. As a, it wouldn't as be a, the first time on this show. As a man who's double gay or half gay or whatever. <laughs> is, a double is, shot of his. Is this line <laughs> hot or not? Any I kind of curve hot. to the body is hot. Yeah, I would say. Almost any kind of curve to the body. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think like that's hot as fuck. And like if I had like a vein here or something like that, when I would like put my arm out, that would be hot as fuck to yeah. me. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I, that's the male gaze or whatever. Yeah. On dudes, on dudes, you want There's more square angular faces, which, you know, I got You're some work it. to do. <laughs> but aside from that, you want more curves. A boxy I, I, structure accented by curves. I fake, I fake uh, a giga chat ish chin with a beard. I ain't got it. I just don't yeah, have that's it. that's true. Yeah, that is true. And Zach, did you see the the picture I I, I tagged you in today on on or the regurgitated pod Twitter tagged what, you in today? With me and the Peter family Griffin. Guy? That's dude. You as Family Guy was went so yeah, well. How did you find that? I how did you make up, that? I just looked up. Um, brown. It was. I, I looked up both of us. I said uh, balding guy with <laughs> balding guy with fat balding guy with eczema. <laughs> And um, medium length hair guy with mustache and patchy beard on yeah, a podcast. It made, it made me uh, that looks oh, just shit. like you. I, I can't. My lighting won't allow. No, it's it fine. To it's fine. But it looks. But I'll put, put it on, it on the yeah, screen. Yeah, that looks just like you and Ben. That's crazy. I'm <laughs> telling you, dude. It looked awesome. I was so hyped when I saw that. Dude, Dolly Three is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I have to look crazy. up YouTube videos on how to make that actually work because I I have been sort of frustrated. I want to make some funny thumbnails with ideas but i need to be able to actually train the ai to do stuff with my face yeah. we've mm-hmm. been using uh at work and <laughs> on the side for myself a new um ai called Kriya, which is pretty interesting i saw that my mom could not see my face in that picture and i couldn't for a while and then i turned it to evan and oh, everyone was like oh one, i see immediately is that the one where it's like you can put an image into like uh, a yeah, it's like of- pattern. It's like pattern recognition. Like it, like you insert an image and you can train it on that pattern, and then you can make other images that subtly include that pattern. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. And then they just released a new feature too, where you get it to like animate from there as well. That's really sick. That's it's really it's really really cool, dude. We should just make the podcast out of those. Oh, dude, a bunch of patterns playing back and like that, dude. That would be the most. Oh, that was how I, thing. I showed you that in the um. In the art room and our Discord, if you go to Vomart, that's what I've been using for those with the Halloween logo and the Roseanne yeah, but, but bar. Animated. Did you see the Roseanne bar one, Ben? Yeah. That oh. was sick. Did that you put Roseanne bar in that sick. one? Oh, in the animate one? No, did you put Roseanne bar into the into that yes, one? In the yes, yes. So I used our logo okay. as the pattern and I just said Roseanne bar. And that was what it gave me. We could do another options. Dolly battle using Dolly 3 and it would go a lot better, I feel like. Yeah, we should maybe redo AI art. Yeah. battles yeah i think it'd be sick i'm i try to use i was i was considering this but i'm like it is stolen art right they always that that is always the mm. thing should well, i use we, it for tristan my and i have th- had debates about that should i use it in a thumbnail i guess is my question uh for a thumbnail sure 
That's like my only. That's my only thing. It's just like, is it you scummy? You think it is, that? it's stolen art, Zach? You're of the opinion that it's stolen art. I think that it uses stolen art. Well, it, it's it's complicated. So I think the way that they aggregate data oftentimes does include stealing sure. art from artists, sure, and sure, then sure. that in turn does taint the AI output to be, um, uh. Like in, is somewhat touching on stolen art. It also uh, there's there's two main arguments I see. Number one is it people being concerned about AI art replacing like traditional art and artists, and I think that's a little ridiculous. I think there'll always be a place, no matter how good AI art gets, there'll always be a place for real human thought and intervention. It'll just be people using those. Um, and I think that people that are upset by that have valid points, but ultimately are just kind of in the way of progress. But then the way that a lot of these um, Get, get his fucking ass. Um, the way that uh, <laughs> I'm watching the <laughs> Why game. Why do you give no context? <laughs> <laughs> but the way that these, um, you know, AI image aggregators collect images for reference, they just scrape the internet. Yeah. And so yeah. traditional artists and photographers and, you know, people that want their work to be made are not consenting to have like their, their like rights taken from them to be used on this like output thing. And that yeah. I think should be banned. I think you should be required to license every image you train an algorithm on. Yeah, I, but, but that would be impossible. No, it wouldn't. What do you mean it no it wouldn't? Yeah, absolutely would be impossible. How would it why would it not be why would it be impossible? Yeah, you, would just have to not do it. you would just have yeah. to not do it like the way it's done. You know what I mean? <laughs> like well, yeah, there, there, I see two possible solutions for that. Number one would be not just scraping like Google yeah, images exactly. or it's not Google images, but just the base level internet for data and individually, um, you know, paying for licenses for photographers and artists to, you know, train on their data. Or number two, you continue to scrape the internet like you're currently doing, but Google or, you know, web hosting providers uh, have to include some kind of opt out in their web server settings. Like those are the two solutions mm-hmm. I would see for that. And right. both of them or, are pretty reasonable. I or or on those websites, they have an option for when you, like if an artist uploads something to say, like DeviantArt, you can say like, oh, in the metadata, include that this is not for commercial use or something. Mm-hmm. And then the, the Well, scraper, that already exists. Well, yeah, but make it more apparent for, I, I, you know, that way, that way, if it is just scraping the internet, it can at least scan that and like discard things that are, are, mm-hmm. Are directly well, marked. The, the, the real issue with that solution would be like, okay, someone stole it anyways, and now this algorithm exists. How are you proving? Because you can't reverse engineer that to spit out an original output. You know what I mean? So like you would have to have some kind of like legal checks in place where um you, you know, you someone has to check like what your your inputs are. You know. Yeah. Mm. But that's it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I, I haven't thought like enough of it, crit- critically thought about it enough. Um, I'll come back someday with a non fence sitter answer, but for now, yeah, I'll just like ask 10 you years guys. from now when the general public consensus is like out, there you go. <laughs> you know, there you go. then you'll come with a true hard take on AI art. Would it, would it be, would it be make, would it make for better clips if I had more s- strong opinions or is it better to just be the funny? Yeah, dumb 100%. Guy? I mean, it doesn't fucking matter. Just be yourself, man. Well, I'm Would it make for better clips to have stronger opinions? Not yeah, really, sure. He's not good but, enough. <laughs> <I'm> not good. <laughs> you want to make a hot take right now? Um, hot take. <clears throat> uh, cod lobbies weren't that bad. Is that actually a, a, a take you have? No, I mean they were <laughs> they 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 weren't <laughs> bad in that they were bad in the sense of like the language used and shit, but they weren't bad in the sense that like. Um, I think uh, I nobody forget, cared. I I think yeah. Here's the thing. I think this might actually have been a destiny quote, um, but it's like uh, way back then. You know, in like I don't know between like 2004 to like 2010, 11, 12 that era, uh, where there's obviously that's multiple eras probably on the internet. But like um, most of us, I mean, there were racist people, but most of us were sort of under the impression that like okay, we're all anonymous on Xbox Live Chat. Just yeah, you're just gonna, the fuck you're you just gonna want. scream the n-word and then yeah, like I mean, if you were in school and you called someone the hard r it was like bro come on that's save that for yeah, pot yeah, yeah, you know e- what I mean? exactly and, exactly and yeah. now it's like okay uh time to just start saying that out loud you know yeah, what i mean and yeah. i mean to 
to some degree, obviously, like in private friend groups, there were always jokes like that um, off Xbox, that is. But like, I think now for some people, the pro- well, not me, but um, but <laughs> for some people now, the problem is, is that it's like they didn't get that it was a joke or that they just hid long enough under the joke that it's like now we all don't know who is joking or not. And it's yeah. just like. Yeah, I don't know. I, the, I, people always refer, like, like, like that is kind of, and I think I don't know if it might have been train wrecks who said this, actually. But at my standard, your whole for life's like, a train wreck. If, if, <laughs> dude, Ohio, believe you me, you true me, me. My my cancel my my cancelable take is that, uh, if you if what you s- said is not as bad as cod lobbies, you, you could. Be I don't fine. know. I, I grew up in an era where those cod lobbies existed. And then I also grew up in West Virginia <laughs> in like yeah, the two thousands. But I've, I've been desensitized towards a lot of shit, but also now that I'm removed from that time, I can clearly look back and be like, yeah, you're all a bunch of fuck wads. Fuck off. Yeah. That definitely, you know, I mean, but I feel like, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I was, but, uh, this is, I, I but, can't remember, but I'm sure I was saying some shock humor shit this, back then. Oh, too. This so is, I, I definitely was, but yeah. like, I like, I like had this, I wasn't as bad with it as a lot of people were, but then I even had this point, even when I was pretty young where I was like, Oh, but I'm not like, no, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. Yeah, clearly so, like there's like, Oh no, this is not, we're not the same. It was, people. There, there, <clears throat> this has been like a, a, a through point in my life entirely. I've always, there's always been two things. One, I do not, I like making jokes and two, I love matching energies, whether or not it's like in a positive way or if it's in a, oh, this person. You escalate, always escalate. But it's an escalation with genuine, genuinely, this is going to sound like a high horse thing. It's escalation with a purpose, right? So like if someone is like, um, a lot of times when people will say like sexist or racist things, they'll say it's like, oh, it's just a joke. So someone's like, oh, you know, I'm just kidding when I say the N word. And then I find out your dad died in 9-11. It's like, well, guess what's gonna ha- guess what's coming <laughs> next? You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's like, it's like, but, but, yeah. but what would happen, what would happen is no one else, because they're not autistic, would like recognize that that's what I was doing. So like I would then say something like either equally egregious or more egregious, and everyone would turn to me like I'm the asshole. And I'd be like, wait. No, no, no. That was a joke because that guy's a dick. Yeah. yeah and yeah. it was like, no, you're also a piece of shit. And then I, it took a very long time for me to be like, okay, well, I know I'm not a piece of shit, but if everyone is calling me a piece of shit, maybe, maybe just maybe, even if I am right, even if I can't convince myself that I'm right, I should stop saying the yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I when I say that, it, Y'all like to get I, on here every episode and just keep telling people that you used to say the N-word. Who? Me? Yeah. Well, oh, someone. I, I have vlogs yeah. where I said it. I'm not I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not hiding away from that. Um But the uh the, what I guess what I'm trying to say is um I, as a white man who has seen no oppression, what bothers me the least is people using uh shock humor. Uh, and using uh, bat- slurs and stuff as shock humor that bothers me so little. When it when it's actually backed by real, well, genuine prejudices, that's when my that's well, the, when I'm the like, okay, is that's that's that it, it's just tiring for me when it's like shock, yeah. like shock humor is just tiring for me because it's like, what is the joke now? You know what yeah, I mean? No, we're at a point I'm, now I'm, where like I still firmly believe that everything and anything can be funny. Right. However, I, I, I've just seen so much of this bullshit now that like, if you're going to take that shot to make a joke that involves some kind of slur or offensive thing, that is a hail Mary. Right. And yeah. 99% of those hail Marys end up with you losing the fucking game. So yeah. you better take, you, you better pick and choose your shots. Cause you get one of them. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it better be a <laughs> fucking banger shot. Um, I, so I, I had this idea. A few, maybe, maybe it was 2021. I had this idea where, I, I mean, I have a bunch of ideas for YouTube content, like the Elden Ring video that is never going to come out. Um, 
Just edit it while moving into across the country. Why not? I have to edit this podcast mostly while I'm moving into the house. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, but I had, I had a, an Tristan E-dog. fucking Werner. We're I'm talking sorry, about so- slurs. Yes! <laughs> I showed it for the last nine minutes. Very exciting. No, dude, you listen. Have we been going on minutes? for? Yeah, no, it's it, almost it, seven thirty. It, it, it just says it just says nine thirty to ten thirty. It's it, we can go however okay. long. I do no. actually have to leave in like so, ten minutes. But. Listen, listen, motherfucker. I had a I had an idea for a series where I would just kind of like be open about things I did. I think I told you about this. Act. I open about things that I did wrong that I really regret. <laughs> Uh, and I never did it because I I didn't have the motivation. And I, the the whole idea, the, the whole stylistic idea, was that I was sitting on the toilet fake farting. Um, no, just, what? Just use a bidet Tristan, and some you look water like you caught grass. some sun. Yeah, I got I got real sunburnt today. Spend a lot of time at the beach today. Been doing I've been watching your really uh, stories. I've been watching your Instagram stories. Tristan, yeah, can you send you. me? Can you send me videos of that just so I can lay it over your beautiful little? Uh, I'll mug. send. I'll, I'll send you. I'll send it over. Don't you worry. Tristan, yeah, I feel really bad. Bad. I saw you post your first commentary surf video, and I haven't watched it. <laughs> no, Wait, I just. No, 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 no. I, I just. I literally just did like a little voiceover. It's. It's. Nothing still intriguing. Hang, so what is a hang ten? Because I heard you say that and I have no idea what that was. <laughs> it's when I thought that was a joke. I thought that was a meme. No, that's that's the actual that's the actual name of a of a surf move. It's it's when you guys so you got a you got a little nice little long board and then yep. you, your feet are like this and then they they walk to the front of the board and then and it you makes hang your ten toes. Your ten that's little, little toes. Okay, the, okay, okay. So they call it a hang ten. You know, it's just a it's a very dumb name, but it's when the fuck it's cool. did you do this, Tristan? I don't know. I don't see this. I think I posted it yesterday. I have a channel called Side Case. It's not on my. It's not oh, on I my. Going on oh yeah, since Tristan's been on the episode uh, last time, he has it's a new a, YouTube channel. It's been a long. It's been a long. Where the hell is this new? Long time. Where is this new? Let me link you. I'll link it to you. Yeah, link it to me. I haven't seen this. Um, Wait, I think I found it. Maybe, probably. It's an I did S find it. and a C. Yes. I'm, oh, so I'm glad it's, I'm glad it's popping know, up on the search rankings. Honestly. I didn't know about this. I'm so happy, Tristan, that you're making content. I'm so happy about this. Thank you, Benjamin. How are you, how are you, you feeling, Benny. Tristan? How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm getting unemployed. I'm not getting unemployed. I am unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am unemployed, uh, spending a lot of money. I got a root canal in my tooth. And then Sick. they're like, "Hey, we got to do another root canal." And I just, I don't have, I don't have money for that. So I'm gonna try and ghost my dentist. I don't know how that's gonna <laughs> work. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna try and like, you know, we have an appointment scheduled, but I'm gonna be like, I forgot. I'm sorry. I don't know. Oh, so, I'm like, gonna ghost him after after getting it and be like, I can't uh, pay. I, <laughs> may, I, mean, I, thought, I might do that I, as well. I, I, I don't know. Oh, I'm in I Hawaii gonna, now. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm out of the country. Yes. The laws don't apply here. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I was gonna try to tack on something more funny, but I don't think. I could think of anything more funny than the phrase "I'm going to ghost my dentist." <laughs> I need to. I'm going to try. And- I'm also ghosting my dentist right now for different reasons, but uh, they, I, don't they, I had sex. I'm, <laughs> the painkillers. Yeah, I got drilled by my dentist. <laughs> yeah. No, I um, I, I'm just in between insurances, and I have a really nosy and pushy uh, dental office where they keep calling and texting me every She's week, and I'm just ignoring them until I figure out what my fucking insurance situation is. What? Oh yeah. 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 Wait, 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 Zach, how old are you? You turned twenty-five. I've turned twenty-five. You're such a baby, episode. bro. Oh, wait, I turned twenty-five so on old. the last episode. So I mean, old is what old. I meant. You're so old. Yeah, you're so yeah. old. Well, I'm Just actually in the it, process you're about of like getting one third away. You're basically gonna. You're one third of your life is gone. Yeah, you're yeah, about you're to die. You're not living to 100. Good <laughs> you're going to die. Honestly, dude, I had that exact same thought like earlier this week, where I was like, well. The way I treat myself, I'm probably not living to a hundred. It's possible, uh, but also big, I'm a big guy. I'm like six, th- like six four ish. I don't believe six, three, I'm six, gonna four. have to see I this still at don't, some yeah, point. I still don't believe yeah. it. Yeah, but like uh, the statistics for tall, big people aren't good. Like the bigger of a human you are, no matter how well you take care of yourself, your odds are you're not living as long. Well, well, so well, Zach, what, my my thought is, if you're gonna die soon, 
I'm not dying soon. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I, I'm right, probably if more than a quarter. Die soon, if, if you were to die soon, I, I would like to, I'd like to, I think a funny bit would be handing off the podcast to just a new, like, random host or co-host. Another white right guy. Right before we die. And, and so they just Zach. continue the podcast. I've told you, it's, first of all, in the, like, really early on, you said, I would never want anyone else to do this when we want to quit this. It just is over. But then also... Yeah, if I you like. remember correctly, I countered that by saying we need to just hire two Chinese guys to do mm, the podcast. We still have to do that. Yes. I hired a Japanese girl last episode. I saw. Uh, I saw. Very funny. Yeah, you saw Not that. the first yeah, Japanese girl you've paid off. Well, I think yep. I think we already have off. enough footage. <laughs> I think we already have enough footage of Zach where we can make an AI bot, and no one would know the difference. We already you know? have that. That already exists in this world. That's actually a great. Is that what's happening right now? Is this a fake Zach? So, I, I see my my. I have I have, no. I have two thoughts going now, Tristan. Yeah, because we had <laughs> we had the first. idea. That's a lot I of know. women. We Sorry. we had an <laughs> we had an idea where we would do a like a like a like a two AI Ben AI Zach talking twenty four seven live stream on That's on good. on the on the Twitch. But now I'm thinking, when we die, we just have. That oh, AI generated podcast Lives every forever. every other week or whatever. Yeah, that would Maybe, be good would be lore. Cool. Like if we ever wanted to fake like our deaths or the ending of a channel or something like, like do the we, Quibble Cop route. Well, yeah, we could set up that live stream forever, and then we could like pay like article like publications to write articles about how we died, and we paid like we used all of our like life savings to pay for servers, so that way it'll go on forever, and then see if people start flooding in and donating to it or something. I'm telling you, dude. I've been saying this for years until the big collapse the way, happens, and then my, my, you, you were, That's true, actually. Zach, every time, uh, every time you talk, I get distracted by a little, a little tickle in my pickle, and this pickle, tickle was Tristan. Tristan, remember when you did that video where you cut your hair? Just you should recreate it shot for shot. Really? <laughs> that's a really what? complicated way of telling someone they need a haircut. <laughs> should I? Do I need a haircut? No, I think you look. You actually look gorgeous. It's yeah, you're a golden getting, god. It right is now, getting yeah. it is getting quite long. Oh, cool. Yeah, Ben's just fucked now. Cool, that's pretty sick, actually. Do I need a haircut? I've been debating whether or not I want to keep going with my hair. Or get a haircut. I saw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying yes to the haircut. I think your hair looks great. I think it's like perfect length. Thank you. It's like not long enough. Like you can really grab on this hair, you know, from you really, uh, you really it's, grab on it's it. It's just know? weird. Yeah, the back, like the, yeah, the, yes. grab my back of my hair. <laughs> the front and top Out of my, my hair is different than the back of my hair. So I feel like I do have a mullet right now and I'm not wearing you have back hair. Yeah. Well, it's just a different length. So you like it just comes hair? out weird. It actually looks fine right now on camera, but like during the day I'm like, this. what's your favorite accessory? Uh, I, I, I like watches. But aside from that, I don't really accessorize at all. Yeah, me too. I'm not wearing one right now, but I do have <laughs> I some pretty flexor. decent watches. I, yeah, I like, awesome. to, I like to carry guns. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Shit. Okay. I yeah, like you got my, my drum Tristan, tummy. Tristan, what do you got? What do you like? What kind of accessory? See, if I was like a comedian, I would like come up with a quick little uh, joke yeah, right here. You'd pull a toy out of your ass. I, yeah, yeah, I think <laughs> I think my favorite uh, accessories that I like to carry around with me all the time are these little things. Where you like, ooh, and you can just see my the teeth. Dinosaurs. My teeth are so fucked that the, the yeah. those don't work. My teeth are so fucked. Oh damn, you mind too. Your breath you must can't stink. Floss. Then. No, I floss. I floss yeah, okay, morning flossing. and night now. Okay, okay, okay. But okay. like, I just can't use those like throughout the day. These things are my so favorite. Specifically. Tristan, just because you're you, and I hope you don't take this offensively, I was hoping you were gonna say like like headphones around the neck or like an an like an anklet. <laughs> an anklet? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm a, down with a house that, arrest monitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pepper spray, just if anyone gets frisky, you know. Just those just are my like favorite little, videos. Little... Have you guys? Those are my favorite videos of just humans. What videos? Getting incapacitated by pepper spray. I think it's just oh, like yeah, oh, yeah. Those are my great. favorite videos. Have you seen them, those those military videos where they're all in the gas chamber? Put in the family guy credits right now. <laughs> no, I don't. Do you, no. Do you not know what I'm talking about? I have zero clue no. that you're referencing oh, something else. No, 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 no. There's like uh, for training, um, they, a bunch of military. I guess this is normal. I've seen multiple videos of this. Uh, they'll go in without a mask and they'll throw like one of those ga uh, oh. gas cans, the pepper spray gas cans into the thing. 
you're mm-hmm. supposed to stay in there for like 30 seconds or something to put your mask on and then you're allowed to leave if you put it with the mask on or whatever i think i have seen like the them leaving those and they like record it from the outside and they're all crying yeah and, like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I've never. I can't say I've ever seen anything like this. That I sounds guess amazing. I could have chosen. It's actually. I don't know if there's a better phrase than "Have you seen all those people in the gas chamber?" <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little I think bit. they made a documentary about that called like yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Schindler's List or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, your I, brother Craig. <laughs> Craig's yeah, List. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, I know your long lost brother Schindler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. a callback. Um. Oh, Craig's List. It's my favorite you just get so that? funny. That's so funny that you said that. Beck, you're so funny. Can, no, I tell wait. You, <laughs> can I tell you about a guy that I met today at the beach? Tell was me, please. Cute? His name was, was Jeff. Cute? He was 68 years old. And oh, he, no. he introed the conversation by saying how much of a creep he was. So already an interesting okay, guy. Great. Okay. He's just, yep. he's just, just like how Ben said the mustache he's about to get. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm going to get it. I said, I said, I'm going to get a pedo stash with a mullet. And they said, why are you calling it a pedo stash? Nice. And I'm like, cause it's a fucking pedo stash. And it's cause he's going to have a mullet, but talking yeah. about pedos, let's get back to Jeff. He's not, <laughs> I'm, it's not confirmed pedo. I cannot confirm that here. Alleged. All right. Alleged TMZ get away from this video. It's just all allegations. Yeah, yeah. Poor uh, Jeff. But he was you talking him up about after he said that. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Like, it's sick. I have sex uh, with children. Hell yeah, brother. Hang 10, am I right? Hang 10. I'm just going to cut bro. that audio out. Just him saying that. Just saying that alone. Uh, but he was talking about, he was talking a lot about the Catholics and the Jews. Okay. Oh, okay. So, Good okay. Yeah, he was, he was so he's talking a creep about, with strong opinion on, on Semites. Nailed it on the head right there, Zach. I got so uh, right. nailed something else <laughs> in the head too. What? I feel like Children. every single joke you mention a head or a mouth or a yeah. I wonder. I wonder what he's feeding for right now, bro. Bro wants some good Becky. I'll tell you what, Becky. I've never heard that term. Bro wants some Becky. Ben, ben says Becky all the time, and I don't know <laughs> if he's made it up or if like <laughs> that's a good name though. I like that. It's That's like getting I picked, up, I picked up from Tristan the term Brecky. He used brekkie. to say Brecky yeah. when our yeah. 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 Now, now I've unironically said Brecky in my day to day life because of yeah. our conversation, See, Tristan. I say, you know, Cumberland Farms. People say Cumbies. Cumbies. Yeah. I have a coworker. What is Cumberland Farms? What is I have that? a coworker really? that said. I have a coworker. You don't know what Cumberland Farms is? No. It's a gas That's station crazy. with like it's ninety-nine cents coffee. It's be. Yeah. 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 I know yeah. Royal Farms down in Maryland. <laughs> anyway, so I so everyone calls it either Cumberland Farms or Cumbies. I have a coworker who unironically says cummies. And I'm nah. like, I, I was like, no, I don't think you should say that. And she's like, oh, my whole family calls it cummies. So that's what we just call it. And I was like, I, no. I wouldn't do that ever again. Though. I wouldn't do that ever again. <laughs> like, like, there was a, there was a, I don't know what, I don't know what she was talking about. I, I, I I'm just going to story of my use, life. Use the word, but <laughs> sorry, I'll let, you, I'll, let you, I'll let you finish your story about Jeff or started yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah. Jeff's done. No, 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 Jeff's done. Jeff is he just started funny. talking about Jews and Catholics. He just talks yeah. about Jews and Catholics oh. and the word of God. That's it. That's all he's talking about. Okay. So. No, so I was I was sitting, I was working with another with a coworker. Um and uh Flesh. she was I don't remember what she was saying. But she described loudly in a cubicle, two cubicles away from me, is talking over this one cubicle. And she describes someone's eyes as chinky. Wow. In an, in an office Good. space. Good. And I go, and I go, oh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she, she was the sweetest woman. I don't think she meant it. I, I don't know if she knew that that was like. I think she. Slurred. I, Adjacent. I I don't know if you guys Slur are familiar, adjacent. and I don't mean to call someone out el- someone else on blast, but um, Ethan's house is old, and it looks like a normal house on the outside, but on the inside, it's um like a chinky. log cabin that has stucco it's in between, chinky. and the name for that type of <laughs> house is a is a chinked house. Oh. I don't know why it's called no that. Oh, I've heard true. that before. I, I don't know why it's called that, but that is the <laughs> official boilerplate term sure. for that type of house. My parents nice. still say Oriental. To refer to Oriental's people. fine to say oh. if it's like a rug or like no, a chair. No, I mean like, oh, our Oriental neighbors. Oh yeah, that's fine. And I was yeah. like, oh, I don't think uh... Jeff did also drop the N word. 
Right. He prefaced it by being like, but I do like black people, you know, always. It's always like that. So, well, you, you know, you got to love yeah. your N words, you know. Yeah. I love all my- he just yeah. got out of the Call of Duty lobby. Literally <laughs> 68, and it's just goddamn. Um, yeah. Oh, I had a funny story oh, this week. What was I also it? have a very, I have a similarly same vein, but Ben, if you got yours. No, you, I don't remember what mine is. You go. So I've been applying to, to jobs recently because uh, for whatever reason. You just renamed this show to the unemployed podcast. Oh, I'm employed. Literally. Just so they're looking for work. But, uh, I know. Like uh, uh, Three out uh, of the one of you are employed. Yeah, <laughs> I've been unemployed, unemployed for a good portion of this show. So. Um, Three weeks ago or whatever, we had, there's a company called that supplies most of the lab equipment that we use. Bro, put them on blast. And uh, there's a... Got him. Oh, yeah, maybe Everyone sensor. prank call. I got um, the number right here. Ben's going to put it a, up. <laughs> We had a tech from this company come to fix our computer, our, our a specific instrument computer that we have. And maybe I shouldn't tell this story because, like, all of this is... Rev- anyway, long story short, I have a connection to a company that I also that applied to and he basically was like, uh, he was telling me like, oh yeah, basically they just want a clean cut. He's like this older white dude. And he's like, they want a clean cut stand up guy. And it, he was like, you know, nothing too flashy. They, you know, just no, no politics in the workplace. You know, sometimes that recently they've been having people show up with a bunch of BLM stickers and stuff. And, you know, you know, I have that mm-hmm. thin blue line on my car, but you know, that's because I worked for the police for 30 years. So you know, that's fine or whatever, but you know, just nothing too noisy and, you know, make sure your hair is neat and everything. And all I can think of is like, this guy fucking hates black people. So yeah. much. <laughs> all I can think of is he just actually hates black we people. We like to have yeah. regular <laughs> sneakers on the premises. Okay? Yeah. Nothing crazy yeah. with those yeah. shoes, you know what I no mean? Air yeah. like to, no air Jordans. No I don't even know what that means, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't remember my story. Okay. Oh, you know what? You know, I do have one funny story. So uh, Alexis takes, um, uh, THC gummies generally to sleep. She's on steroids. Uh, she, bro, did you just fucking <laughs> narc on your own I girlfriend? I, I narc a little bit, but she takes THC gummies to sleep. Um, and sometimes uh, they'll get her a bit high before she falls asleep. And every time that I think Sean might have overheard, overheard this yesterday, but every time she does that, I I I, I try to freak her out, which is so mean. I no, go. That's the right thing I to just do. go. How would I have overheard this? When? Well, you. I was telling it well, to Barney yesterday. You were in the chat. No. When was I? Right. Um. <laughs> you I, took a gummy. I, went, I would. Yeah. I would go. I, I we'll be. We'll be like laying you down. We'll be trying to sleep. And I'll be gummy. Sorry. <laughs> and I'll just whisper in her ear. I'll go. Where are we? <laughs> and she'll freak the fuck out. <laughs> she'll freak the you? fuck what, out. It's you? so funny. And I'll be like. Why are we here? What's going on? She'll get so she gets so mad. So I got my old man because he, 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 my dad, officially is reti- is going to be retired in two weeks. Good for him. So I got Big him. Up, I, I, I went to I went to a dispensary and I got him uh, CBD THC Rick gummies. Did not eat a one to one. Tell me, Rick didn't eat a one to one. No, it was a, it was a, it was a one so uh, to one, to, one to two THC That's CBD. Good. It was more okay. THC than CBD? No, it was more CBD than THC. No, it was a two to one. I, yeah. Two to one or whatever it is. And I told him, I said, um, I told the dispenser guy, I said, get me, my dad's old. He's retiring. Get me some weed gummies. He got the weed gummies. He gave me the weed gummies. I, I brought him home. He had one. He The next day, he's like, I woke up. I, I felt like hungover. And I'm like, dad, you were drinking. Like he had three glasses of bourbon. <laughs> what are you fucking talking <laughs> about? Well, what are you, you talking about? You can actually get a hangover. I mean, it's not likely, especially with CBD, you shouldn't really be getting a hangover. But it is possible, like if you smoked a lot, for instance, to get a yeah, fucking he, headache. It was, it was, it was two to one or whatever. Like it yeah. wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, he wasn't I don't know. Freaking I'm, out. He wasn't going for the world record. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be mm-hmm. a great video. Trying to OD on marijuana. <laughs> That'd be great. Going for the world record. <laughs> Going for the world Dude, record. they banned all those marijuana YouTubers back in the day, like uh, mm. like 2012 ish era of YouTube. There were a bunch of YouTubers that would do like bong rip challenges and stuff, and then YouTube kind of cracked down on them. Yeah, you ever you want to do an any percent over overdose run? <laughs> Glitchless, glitchless overdose. Glitch, glitchless, any percent weed overdose, green out. Dude, no, I, I gotta. T- I, I'm like, I'm like skipping around. I had a fucking 
the last month has been nothing but work. Like a lot of it. It's busy. Sorry. I'm an in insurance, so it's busy season mm-hmm. for one one season. I'm what makes it busy? One one season is the effect so normally it's a three month run out for, for contracts. And three months after so actually sorry, would it be two technically? No, three months. It's a three month run out. So October is always the busiest month of the year. So it's a three month run out for a one one contract because everybody wants a one one contract. Um um and then personal life i've just been getting ready to move out mm-hmm. which is huge i'm in my uh, tristan i don't know if you could tell i'm not in my room i'm in my living room you know it's wow. this whole house is Wait, fucking so messy have, oh have you moved yet or no no i mean i'm so i I'm, my parents are fixing up the dents and bruises and that i left in the in my bedroom mm-hmm. so they can sell the house because they're moving nice um yeah, let and them fix I've it. just been moving, I've been moving shit. I've been moving Alexis's shit to here. And it's like all of the shit, so much stuff is in my garage right now. Um, next episode, I'm going to be, my fat ass is going to be plopped in a seat in, in um, uh, Cleveland. Fuck yeah. So you're, you're, you're almost there. You're almost gone. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I got, I got nine days until I'm moving out. Nice. Um, but yeah, for right now I'm in my living room and I have to be kind of quiet mm-hmm. because there's no privacy in this room at all. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, it's just, it's fucking crazy. And I, and I took care of Alexis during a tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy, which I guess is a word um, during, I during this my month adenoids off. and tonsils removed too. Dude. Oh, my sister did. Her, her tonsils. So they're like f- four grades of, I think it's four or five grades of, of tonsil size. Hers were bigger it's than the, the biggest. prequel to 50 shades of gray. She, four yeah. shades of tonsil yeah. size. Four grades of tonsil. She, she, hers were bigger than the biggest size of tonsil on the, on the, on the grade. World and she, the, 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 Bro, the, she's the throat goat. She's the throat, throat goat. goat. It's crazy because uh, four grades is usually Ben's limit. <laughs> yeah, normally fourth grade is where that I was a cap one, out. Sean. That was a good uh, one. Yeah. It's like, you, it's, I'm like I'm like the Le- cool. uh, Leonardo DiCaprio of pedophilia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember this, Ben. It'll be the last time you leave a scar. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so, awful. but even the, the surgeon even came out and he was like, he was like, uh, yeah, those 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 tonsils those were big. the biggest tonsils. Yeah, those. Did she get the king in a jar? No, she forgot to ask before she passed out from anesthesia. Um, but she was. The the weirdest thing I don't I didn't know like I I kind of knew how to, <laughs> yeah. I knew how to I knew how to deal with um the the tonsillectomy recovery but I didn't know what she was dealing with you know mm-hmm. I knew how to like do 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 it from my side but not with her side her throat was like closing up with how swollen it was mm-hmm. and I you know I gotta say day days day one was fine because she was anesthesia she had so much yeah, anesthesia yeah. in her she was like that mm-hmm. the whole day. Days two and three were rough, dude. She was in so much pain. I felt so fucking bad because it's just like, it, you know, she's on Tylenol with codeine. She doesn't want to eat, but she's on an empty stomach having Tylenol with codeine three times a day, mm-hmm. you know, just like that, like fucked up. Right. She, That's she, someone's dream right there. Yeah, I know. But she was like in and out of consciousness oh, wait, all day. Cody, not a person on <laughs> Tylenol with Cody. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You, know, <laughs> you um, do you. She was all fucked up day two and three, dude. I felt really bad. Mm-hmm. And then after that, she get, was getting progressively better. But her her t- her throat was so closed up, she was snoring like she still had her tonsils in. Ooh, mm-hmm. yeah. She and then as soon before? as her ton, as soon as like day four or five hit, I ha- I I stopped hearing her snore like completely, which makes me sad because I I I always I don't know maybe this is just like a me thing. I always thought that the significant other snoring is just fucking cute. Is that just me? It might be cute, but shut the fuck up. (laughs) Yeah, everything's cute till you're trying to sleep. (laughs) No, no, I can't tell you how many times Haley just like will rock me awake, and she's like, "Stop," and I'm like, "Okay." (laughs) No, I no, she'll she'll be sleeping like this with her mouth open, and she'll just let out a loud snore, and and I'll it'll calm. It'll it's like an ASMR reaction. Like I'll just it's easier for me to fall asleep. I'm like the um, complete opposite to all three of you. Like don't have a girlfriend unemployed <laughs> and retarded and not funny. So it's like, it's, so it's, it's uh, this was workaholic. You're, you're a Carl. Yeah. Whoever the Who's fuck Carl? that is. I don't Wait, even who know. Who am I? If I, if this were, 
I mean, Sean, did you get that reference Sheldon. at least? Yeah. You know, my Was I right with, about Carl? You know, my problem with workaholics, I liked it. I like workaholics. But my problem with workaholics was that the early commercials, right before it premiered, Comedy Central had a commercial that was like, don't miss the new premiere, or the, the premiere of the new show, Workaholics. If you like South Park, you'll like Workaholics. And so yeah, I, it's nothing I, like South Park. I, exactly. Adam, so the I, same I, thing. I stayed up till fucking like 1130 or whatever. I forget. No, 1130 was the Colbert Report. But I, I stayed up right for when it aired. I loved the Colbert Report. The Colbert Report. Back when good. it was the Colbert Report. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it was, I liked it. I thought it was funny. Um, but it was like, it was weird because it was like, it, it came out at a time where I don't think I was ready for that type of humor, like the workaholics humor. Like, I, I oh, yeah. they smoke weed and curse a lot. You know what I mean? Like, that was kind of funny. Yeah. But like, I, I don't think workaholics is a great show. It's a fine show. Yeah. I remember it. Yeah. I think all the actors from that show are really good individually. Yes. Yes. I, I didn't mm-hmm. really care for the show, though. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good thing. I thought the show was just fine. Yeah. yeah. I got a question, actually. Speaking of that, did you guys all watch a lot of TV when you were growing up? Um, It was on. No. It did depends. you have one in your when room? I was, when I was, no, God, no. When I, no. I had a shitty TV. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I should be grateful I had a TV in my room. But yes, I did have a TV in my room. It was so like it small and barely functioned. But yeah. It wasn't was until one. high school when I really started watching TV. I watched South Park. What I would do is I would stay up and then go downstairs because we had, my parents had a TV in their room. And we had one TV in the living room. So I would go downstairs and watch uh, South Park. And then I would go back to bed. So, so Brian and I have a yes. matching, have a, we did have a matching like memory of, you knew you were staying up too late when Girls Gone Wild came on it. On, I think oh, it was not adult. Sure. I yeah. never I once, maybe I'm just too the young, but I never remembered that like Answers? coming on. I do remember no, it was also the man show. Oh, well, Mancho, that's that was the Jimmy Kimmel one. Yeah, no, that was but like Mancers or like uh, Girls Gone Wild is when you were like, I'm fucking, I'm up way too I never late saw right Girls Gone Wild ad on TV. Are you kidding I saw, me? That I, saw like never Girls Gone Wild. I guess I did watch a lot of TV. I mean, I've I did, seen the ads on like YouTube and shit. Like I know no. what it is. I just never saw it on TV. My parents would get mad at me because um, actually my big thing is I would stand up to watch South Park and then I would pass out back on the couch. So they'd come downstairs and like porn would be on. You know what I mean? Essentially. Yeah. yeah. That the, the no, girls gone wild was great when you're like a 14 year old kid and you're like, or not even 14, younger than 14, and you're just staying up late. You know what I mean? Like, that's that was like that was peak. Um, but the but I have a, a core memory also of Nickelodeon when it turned to Nick at night. The first show would yeah. be fucking Full House, yeah. And I yeah, hated I Full House, I hated Full House. Um, I had the same very similar thing. That's how I got into uh King of the Hill watching Cartoon Network. Because King mm-hmm. of the Hill was the first one to come mm-hmm. on after. That's how I. That's why I hate King of the Hill. That's a good. That that's a good reason. like crossover show into Adult Swim because any yes. kids left remaining aren't going to get shocked with something, but like it's still. It's a good show. They're, gonna, they're supposedly rebooting King of the Hill right now. I'm curious Haley, to see how that goes. I, 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 I was King surprised King to learn like, like six or seven months ago. I was surprised to learn that Haley really liked King of the Hill. It's a good show. It's a good. I mean, I, I liked it, like but it. like I just didn't. You know, you learn something new about your partner every once in a while. Yeah. Um, and or just or fucking low ra the yes, uh, dun, 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 yeah. Lopez, dun, 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 yeah. Lopez, yeah, and I, I, I would, I hated that show too. It was so unfortunate. I just remember I, it, that was another show that would just stay on. Yeah. Like, and I, I would <laughs> never like seek out to watch the George first Lopez show. It would just be on. Yeah, but I, I'll always remember this joke. I, George Lopez was upset at his daughter for wearing like a revealing outfit or something. It was like spaghetti straps or something relatively harmless. And George Lopez remarked to his daughter, you know what? At this point, I don't care if you go out in some bubble wrap and a cracker. And as a kid, I just remember like visualizing that actress wrapped up in <laughs> bubble wrap with like a singular cracker covering her. Up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like, I don't know for whatever reason. That Style. is the only line from the George Lopez show that remains in my mind is George Lopez telling his daughter to wear bubble wrap and a cracker. That's, that's a great, I have, I'm, I'm sure I have like core memories with specific shows like that too, like specific jokes that I really like. Yeah. But I, I do have it from childhood. I don't know what it was. There would be this joke where we'd say things are in the window and we'd just crack up. We'd say like it started with apple juice in the window and we just start fucking Die, like I laughing did not so go hard. To a special needs school, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't and then know they'd what be this like, is. they'd be like Naruto in the window, and I'd be fucking laughing my ass off. 
<clears throat> that, you would have gotten really popular on TikTok if you were born like 10 years later. Dude, it's actually crazy. It's so crazy. The amount of shit that you I laughed at that wasn't funny. You are the born in the wrong generation. Like you would have killed it as a kid right now. I look like I'm 45. You can, there's always a little kid in your heart. <laughs> Go back so you to can school. Do it. <laughs> Start making TikToks now catering to the 14 year olds. You Dude, should just act was, like a child. That that would get you views. That would get views. When I, Hi guys, welcome to <laughs> just start unboxing content like shift, Legos. Content shift. Come over, we'll have a little play. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Give me I your thought, phone number. I thought it'd be a good bit if, like, when you're editing it, there's just a bit of me coming in here. <laughs> Is that what you wanted to come in here to say? Put in the window. Yeah, I was, tell him to go in the window. Something in the window. Tell him there's like, an old lady in the window. Like, old lady in the window. Old lady in the window. No, that was uh, <laughs> you and the Herberts. Yep, see. <laughs> see he <laughs> knows. <laughs> um, your thing here was, I think it was Chris or Sean said. They if sound you're, like, exactly window, alike. That is great. Or something, an owl will like break it. Oh, yeah, no, that was, yeah, that was Chris. Tell your brother to say one thing is going to miss that's about the, you when you leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's that's, do that's, a ceremony. Yeah, that's, that, wait, what, what, what do you want him to do? Say something, t- ask him to say something he's going to miss about you when you leave. Uh, he wants to know something that you'll miss about me when I leave. Um. <laughs> and ask him He's if thinking. he approves of your girlfriend. <laughs> he does. <laughs> He's thinking. Shit. He's thinking really hard. Your head's um, small. The wet sounds at night. He's gonna kiss oh, Ben. Dad, I swear to God, watch, watch, watch. He's gonna kiss Ben on the lips or something. There's, there's so much, man. So many things you're gonna miss. Start crying. Uh, oh, being able like when I walk in the in the kitchen to do whatever the fuck I'm doing in the kitchen, and I just get like momentary boredom. So I walk in your room, don't really do anything, and then leave two minutes later. Yep. I'm gonna miss that. Yep. I had to figure that's what he was gonna say. Yeah, that's the that's the hot one, right? But yeah, that's that's fat ass noodle arms. That's COVID boy, and that's Tristan. Uh, Sean has yeah. COVID. Uh, sort of. That's Co- COVID's not real, so <laughs> he he fits right in. Let's get him in. Yeah, come on. And that's that's he has beautiful golden locks, and he's a surfer, and he's sexy. The election was stolen. The election was. <laughs> he's fitting right in. Who's running the world? Ask him um, what two religions are running the world. Who runs the media? Me in here. <laughs> who runs- so I was like thinking about it while I was in the kitchen. Was I heard you say when I was little, I used to uh, laugh at stuff that wasn't funny a lot. And you still do that. Every okay. day. <laughs> <laughs> That's called this show. All right. Well, I'm happy that you had to come in here for that. I don't know. I know Sean has probably experienced it, but like you'll be playing a game <clears throat> and something that's like very not funny will happen and you'll just like hammer fist your desk and start squeaking. Yeah, yeah. And I'll, or I'll clap and I'll just go and I'll just squeal. And, and I remember uh, when Chris was living here too, when Adam we secretly together, really that, likes Ben, but he'll pretend that like, he hates Ben. I bet something really him. funny is going on there. I wish I was there. Kiss him on the ass. And well, it the is something I always funny is always going on. And the pecker. Um, his name is, uh, yeah, Zach. Zach's the hot one. Zach is the hot one. Zach. He's also 5'11". Uh, Don't let him fool you. He's also 5'11". Dude, I'm six foot. Yep. I'm yeah. not. Tell him I'm not. Tell him you're lying. He, he, said, he, he said I'm lying. He's actually like 6'3 or some shit. Zach is 6'3"? Yeah. He's got a oh, small that, head. Is that like a bit? He, like? Could, he could dominate you. Oh, well, probably not. Right. <laughs> Should we get into dominating episode? <laughs> should we should we get into a dominating competition? We're trying to dominate a, each other. A dominating competition, a dumb petition. Who's more of a dumb? Who's more of a bear? Yeah, who can who's, take who's it more better? of a bear between Zach and Adam? <laughs> Adam like benches like four hundred and fifty pounds or some <laughs> shit. Adam, Adam, Adam can bench like six hundred and thirty thousand pounds. I can't. I can't do that. Well, that's his. That's his. Oh my god! I'm sorry. I don't know if I can bench 600 pounds when I can do that. Oh man, you can do it, dude. But I got those. I got those. No, my my forearms are bigger, Adam. He says. That's what I'm saying. His forearms are bigger, dude. No, no fucking. My forearm can't even. Wait, holding it like. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to play with the lighting. Uh. No fuck, dude. Are you? 
Are you beefing me right now, dog? I can do jack on for this hand. Everybody do that. No, he's flexing his bicep now. It's a whole different thing. <laughs> Look at that. You know, I started coaching Sean because I saw a video of him curling like sand weights, and I I said I like gave him a form correction or something, and I just sparked our like gay gym relationship. <laughs> yeah, he would he would just bend down in front of you. <laughs> Bro, you go on forums. So that's fat. crazy. He bent over to get to do a, 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 a deadlift. I think I, I still think have that video of him. me saving Sean's yeah. life. I should I should send that to you, and you can watch on the pa. Adam, uh, oh, Ben, ask Adam, uh, what's a better bi- exercise than squats? What's a better exercise than squats? No, you butt dumb bitch. Exercise. But, For, butt exercise. Butt exercise. What's a better butt exercise than squats? Uh, I mean, there isn't. There isn't <laughs> okay. One. There you Easy go. answer. My ass is going to be so fucking fat, dude. There, there was a, a video. He was going for a bench PR, and he, he just like his arm. I'm not going to explain the fucking lifting shit here, but. Uh, basically, his wrist went too far uh, behind his elbow, so he went like this. It, it, like, I, it was like 150s or something like that. It just was like flying down his throat. I literally like caught it inches before it, it like killed him. It would have been crazy. Yeah, Adam actually died. did save my life that day. It would have been crazy if you died. It would have been funny as fuck. It, it would have been, been super funny. funny. funny what was funny, too, is as soon as I grab it and Sean like realized that he wasn't like dying and it was like he's safe now he just started laughing <laughs> like before it was even in the breath. Uh, it was an attempted it, suicide all right have sure. uh, fun with the paw uh i'm sweating my ass off i'll miss you zach visit that me so he's so hot visit dude. me anyway what was i saying apple juice in the window apple juice <laughs> in the window I had a similar thing when I was a kid, and I was definitely living in West Virginia at the time. I'm not quite sure what the context was around this. But somehow I had heard a joke that essentially the punchline, uh, the joke ended it by saying, well, that was convenient. And I heard like a room of people laugh. And so for the next like six months, I thought that like the funniest thing in the world was to end like a story by saying like, well, that was convenient. And I didn't even know what convenient meant. So like at school yeah. and to other like groups of adults, I would like try to tell a long joke and then I would end it by saying, well, that was convenient, not knowing what convenient meant. So it just didn't make sense. And people somehow would laugh yeah. because they had a little kid in front of them, to tell them a long nonsensical story that ended with a long word and just people would laugh because it was just nonsensical. And so it went on for way too long Mm -hmm. of me as a kid thinking that like, wow, I could just get a room of people to laugh by saying the phrase, well, that was convenient. I have a, I have the exact opposite story uh, (laughs) to that. I, I, my dad really watched a lot of Monty Python and a lot of like, um, what do you call it? The three stooges and stuff like a lot of old school comedy. Old, like mm-hmm. obviously those are different comedic Slapstick. styles, but like a lot yeah. of, like a lot of like older. And so there was a lot of like turn of phrase, a lot of like play on words. Going yeah. On. Stuff like mm-hmm. that. And so I just was like, I was fixated on the idea of someone saying something and me f- like either making a pun out of it or like, I mean, I say this, yeah, I do. The, these are my, like, this is my main repertoire now in, in like conversation. But in third grade, we were learning about um, the South in the pre-revolutionary. This was Catholic school, and they were teaching us about cotton farming. And they said, so there's this thing called a cotton gin where you make clothes. Oh, I've heard this yep. story yeah, before. Yeah, okay. this story. yeah, yeah. And I was just... Cotton gin, that's my favorite type yeah, of gin. Yeah, that's my favorite type of gin. And immediately got sent to the prison's office, and I was just crying. I was like, I don't even know what gin is. I don't know. <laughs> so uh, fucking funny. That shit is so funny. Um... Yeah, I had. I you're had, racist. You ever have a joke that as a kid that's funny to everybody, but you're like, that's just not funny. One hundred percent. I yeah. I had I had that with like wait the joke like you tell a joke and everyone thinks it's funny and you're like oh it wasn't that funny. No, the, no, no. I'll give you my example and I think you'll okay. get it. Okay, okay. my example. So um, there when you'd say something sus or gay and then someone would say <laughs> no comment. 
oh, everybody yeah. would laugh. Oh, oh, and I'd yeah, be like, yeah. oh, fuck you. That's not even, that's not even funny. That's not even funny to say. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like latching on to a, jo- it's like tagging onto a joke to take credit for it. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no comment. Did, is that, is that just a me thing? No, no, no. I, I, that, no, no that's that's just happened to me. Off. I just don't have an example. I hated I, that shit. I, I've, I remember one time my cousin, like it was like a family event. My cousin told a joke where it's like, and that's, it was talk, It's like some, someone's driving in a car and then it's like, and that's why they're always reaching underneath the seat. And like everyone started laughing and I could not figure out what, why that was the punchline. And I'm still <laughs> like, I still think about it honestly, like every week. I'm like, what, what was that joke? Like, I don't even, I, was it a reference of like someone like fingering themselves? Like what? Like what does or like pulling out right. a gun? I don't understand. I had no idea, and I'm still clueless on it. And I don't think I'll ever was, um, get an answer. I had a. There was a joke. What the hell is that? The it's, coronavirus. It's oh, we just Boris released it. Died. Just he literally just died. <laughs> <laughs> he the just got eaten alive. He just got eaten alive and froze the camera. What if that was like um, the last year we ever heard of it? That's it. In, yeah. In Catholic school, there's like you hear jokes that you think are funny because you're growing up in Catholic school and it's like everything's about Jesus and stuff. And then you Jesus. find out that like you the find cross. out that a lot of people just either don't believe in God or at the very least do not take religious classes, so they mm-hmm. don't hear all this stuff. And there was this joke again, and I think it was like second or third grade because I was in summer camp, but I was in the kids section of summer camp. No, but I was with and I was with my sister, which meant that we were really young. Because my sister is 14 months older, so she would have been in the older... Anyway, long story short, I'm with my sister. We're in this big room in a public summer camp, the YMCA of East Hartford. So tons of like non-Catholic school kids. Yeah. And we were telling our favorite jokes. And the counselor was like, oh, sh- oh Ben just... You see- oh, yeah, Ben is in Wi-Fi cut out, probably. Um, the counselor was like, Sean, what's your favorite joke? And at the time, my favorite joke really was... There was this joke that we were that we heard from the priest of all people that was like a um, a rich man as he was dying uh, packed his briefcase full of gold bars uh, because uh, when he died he wanted to have all of his money so when he died he got to heaven with his briefcase and the angel said well, what's in the briefcase and he opened it up and he said what you brought bricks or whatever and the joke that the the point of the joke was that you know gold is nothing, matter. nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and so i told that joke like waiting for it to fucking kill at this ymca thing yeah. and the counselor was like excuse me what what <laughs> and i was so imp- my face was red i was like cold sweating I, this is the first time i'd Jesus. ever put bomb it was so terrible i remember that crystal clear yeah you ever bombed yeah, how do you feel about that <clears throat> yeah what happened to me Ben, you revealed the cup with like a bug in it or something, and the second you did that, it, it, your camera froze, and we just thought that like it was an instant death, <laughs> like <laughs> that, like that was the last we'd ever hear from you. Is you're releasing this creature? It's, it's the it's the fucking Wi-Fi, bro. I don't know what to tell you. I put a moth up to the thing. And you guys all froze, and I said it's a moth, and you guys weren't saying anything, and I was like, is it not funny? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, that's comedy. Oh, yeah. What if it's his, just his brother, just like oh, unplugging man. around here, <laughs> just every time? This fucking football game, man. What to kill myself? Oh, well, he sidetracked on the podcast. Yeah, it's my own podcast. His own podcast. He's fucking my own pissed. podcast. I'm sitting here watching this fucking football team, man. Watching my team blow it to the worst team in the fucking NFL. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I that's saw like, the. That's like the um, only thing I hear of football now is the fact that so, Taylor Swift has sex with people. What's what's interesting? <laughs> <laughs> what's interesting? Jesus is um so. You know, the, the Taylor Swift attends those two football games. Everyone freaks out. And, you mm-hmm. know, they're showing Taylor Swift like they do with any celebrity at the game. But, yeah. you know, it's more of a story. People are tuned in. So, of course, they like, you know, play some music and may- maybe have like a few more shots of her or whatever. Okay. So the people freak out about it. It becomes like a, a bit of a controversy. The NFL at the same time happened to change like their banner to have Taylor Swift on it for some reason. I don't fucking know. Um, and people like do this outcry. And they were NFL removes it, and then they release like a statement, um, kind of defending their showing of Taylor Swift on their Twitter account. 
to people, which is already ridiculous. Enough. God, the world but is then weird. I saw this <laughs> supplemental headline come out. This was like a few days ago. And if you follow me on Twitter, plug, you would have seen this. But uh, the article essentially said like <laughs> Taylor. He's back. What happened? I don't yeah. know. I don't know what happened. I don't understand. It just keep. I just keep disconnecting <laughs> from the internet. Do I sound bad? Shit. Yeah. A little bit. I sound bad? No, yeah, mean, but so, so do I this episode. So it's whatever. I should, I should be on my headphone but, speakers. Um, whatever. Go ahead. You're good. Bitch. Anyway. Anyway, so the, the headline is just essentially read, and Ben, you probably saw this because uh, you follow me on Twitter. Am I right? Uh, but the headline What's essentially Twitter? said, like, Taylor Swift, lo- Taylor Swift loses power over the NFL or loses her power grip over the NFL or something like that. And, like, I just thought of, like, imagine showing this headline to someone four months ago <laughs> and just trying to f- have them figure out what this means. I, saw, I did see that. The I thing- saw you posted that. Good. <laughs> Good. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> ben, you frog-eyed little bitch. You sexy little frog-eyed. I can't. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I think we got to end the show. We can end the show. Gotta, I think you got to move out of that house uh, in nine yeah. days. I think, it's what I think the next do. time we do an episode, it's in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. I don't, dude, I don't get it. I can't even. I we can't even join the fucking it. thing. I don't want to call it, dude. It hasn't been long enough. Speaking about that, how's Denver? I heard you went to Denver and lived there. How was that? I didn't live. I mean, I didn't live there. I got an air. So you fuck. You lied. Started, you just lied right <laughs> yeah. there. Is what you just did. Yeah. No. Um. I went to a football game. Ben put pictures up. Uh. We had this Airbnb in downtown Denver, and it got caught on fire. The building got caught on fire. Ben, here's a video of the building on fire. <laughs> well, I don't know did how much time you have to edit station? this, but so maybe there's not. Yeah, I don't know. But so, um, yeah, I had to Should evacuate the, the Airbnb, but it was really nice. Um, a lot of cool restaurants there. Cool weather. I like Colorado very much. I'll go back again. It was my third time in Colorado. Very cool. My football team just blew it. I'm going to kill myself. You got any bets? I mean, essentially, there's four minutes left of the game now, but now there's four minutes left of the game, but now you're down three possessions. So you're, you're, it's essentially blown. We've lost to the worst team in the NFL. We have a the negative record. No, but we may as well be. Honestly, I should just like get rid of that team. Dude, this, whatever this, team this, it is. I should get rid of that team. Yeah. Just throw it away. Recycle it. Tell Look. me what's happening. Tell me what's happening, please. <clears throat> Now, maybe if my team started winning uh, games, your internet would be good. If it didn't cost so much money, I would burn my jersey on the on the podcast for views. You burn New Jersey? <laughs> yeah, should, I'm like we Chief should burn Keith, the dude. American flag. That'll get a lot of views, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should burn the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> we'll burn the American flag. We'll burn the whoa. Ukrainian flag. And then I thought we'll... maybe the other pen joined for a minute, and I was like, whoa. Benjamin Franklin? We dual cam in it. Benjamin Netanyahu. Yeah, we're dual cam in it. Just in case one fucking dies. One more Ben's. Ben Affleck? Who else? What other Ben would be here? Uh, that's it. You've listed all the Ben's. Ben Schwartz? Ben Schwartz? Ben 10? Ben, ben wearing 10. shorts? Ben Dover? <laughs> Bro, Ben Dover. When I was in, when I was in school, right? <laughs> Can you hold it up like a selfie? Like you're doing like a vlog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was in school, right? When I was in school, I feel like I'm like a Gary V. When I was in school, right, uh, there was like a a uh, what do you call it? like a like a popularity contest, and I mm. won it because people wrote my name in as Ben Dover. <laughs> there you go. That's not my name. That's not it's my name. Ben win, though. That's not my name. That's not my name. That's not my name. Wait, can I? Can, can you give me an NFT to shell or something like that, like a crypto? Um, I might Logan have an coin NFT punch. somewhere. Logan coin? Donkey Punch Probably coin. Not. Um, actually, guys, I don't know if you guys have heard of Donkey. Tell me if I'm a good marketer. Tell me if I'm a good marketer. Okay. I don't know if you guys have heard of Donkey Punch coin, but it's the. No, you're not a good marketer. I, I don't know about it. <laughs> I don't know about it. I nothing about it. Marketing. Fail. Have you guys heard of Donkey Punch coin? I'm actually getting five thousand percent every day because I just put my shit. In this coin, and then it's just I, I'm a millionaire now. Look at my garage. Are you in a garage? 
What was I'm, the George I'm Lopez? The not George Lopez. Ty Lopez thing here in my garage. How did that here go? In my garage. Yeah, and that you find out that he didn't Lopez. even read the books. He just like read the synopsis of each of the books. He's like, I read like, and he's gay. I'm pretty he sure. A, don't say it. Sorry. I heard that he rents all of his houses, and he's gay. <laughs> I can't believe he would I heard, rent. I heard that he's. Um, I wouldn't. Shoot, I wish I knew what ethnicity he was. I was just going to say like Puerto Rican or something, but I, I don't mean, he's, know. He's honestly probably he's white. He, Ty Lopez sounds like a fake fucking name. You he's know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Does sound very fake. Um, if you were to have a, if you were to rename yourself, what would you name yourself? Oh, when I was a kid, I used to. When people would ask me that question, I thought Spike was a really cool name. I, don't I thought know Ninja. Why. I wanted to yeah, name myself and so Ninja. I was like, oh, I'd love to be named Spike. It's a fucking dog's name. Yeah, it's a dog <laughs> from Simpson. Or no, Rugrats. Yeah. Well, there also used to be like an NFL linebacker, I think, named Takeo Spikes. And I always thought that was a dope name. What about and I think Spike that was Lee? TKO Spikes? Takeo Spikes. Oh, I think it that's sounds how you like say TKO. It. That would be. That is, that is actually like a TKO name. Spike would be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Ninja was the name I wanted to. Go by, and then I was like, maybe I should go by into my middle name. No, nobody wants. You could, you could buy a dot ninja domain. Imagine calling me Maxwell. Like I the coffee. You can't see Maxwell. Tell me how. Tell me how you can see Maxwell. Where do you see Maxwell in my in my face? Uh, swell. <laughs> swollen because his face is fucking <laughs> swollen, guys. You look like uh, dilapidated. Tilapia. Dilap- tilapia. Caddy Wampus. Do you guys like sushi? No. No. Yes. Funny enough, I what? got taken out to sushi, like sushi yesterday for work. And I don't like sushi. I don't really like much seafood. I like shrimp. That's yeah. that's a cringe take, Zach. That's a cringe L yeah. mid take. Yeah, I guess the I'm shrimps a are the are the They have a penis in the ocean, the you know that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're really fucking they're they're in they are actually really disgusting, but I like them they're a like lot. They're like the mos- they're like the mosquitoes of the ocean. Yeah. Delicious like little sh- mosquitoes. I like shrimps and mosquitoes. I like shrimps and mosquitoes too. Fried oh, skeeters. I, I, I'm happy. I'm happy that we know each other, Tristan. Just in general. Yes. Yeah, I'm glad I know. I'm glad I know you as well. Yeah, Benjamin. Just in general. Yeah, I change my name, my name Not to the letter T. I think is what I would do. Just like change it T, or it'd be like. Richard or something. I don't Richard? know. Wait, <laughs> Richard. Do you, do you go by T? Sometimes, yeah. Like I have. That's like a nickname. Be like T. You know, people just say that. Hey, yo, what's people up, say, T? People say T. I, I, I'm mm-hmm. very weird about saying people's like full name generally. Yeah. Like, yeah. like. What do you call me? Zachy Coon. That's longer. <laughs> what are we like, looking at, Tristan? There? I, I, I wouldn't call you Trist. Tris or nothing like that. I would never call yeah, you. Like, I don't like Tris. Tris. I don't like. T- yeah, I don't like, I don't like Tris. I like T. I think T is just sounds. Yo, T. You know, yeah. I, I'm yeah. I'm in the middle of watching The Sopranos still right now, and oh, I'm sorry. Is this podcast getting in your way. Do you want to stop just so you can keep watching? The Sopranos? <laughs> He's watching this second. You watching it right watching now? It right now. Yeah. Have you finished? Uh, oh, you disconnected. Oh, what no. episode are you on? You got I know. I'm I'm halfway through. I'm like in the middle of season three. Have like you watched literally it about as halfway as you can. No, this is my first oh, time. Okay, cool. Um. Yeah, don't fucking spoil it because I'm into it right now. Well, the guy, although I technically guy know how it ends. <laughs> so. Yeah, and I'm the shortstop for the Mets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I never watched. Anyways, it, so I, I'm I don't know jealous of 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 Tony Soprano because everyone calls him Tone. Okay, um, and I think that's a dope nickname. I know you. Oh. Someone I know you said you know the ending, but I'm not going to spoil anything. But there's, I know the stylistic choice of the ending. Okay, but I know why people were upset about why it ended. There's something separate. That is an ending in the last season that I really, really don't like. And mm. it feels, re- well, I won't say that, but I found out that the director said something that made me feel like it ruined the whole, st- the, the director himself made me feel like I didn't like the show anymore. Or I felt like Ooh. it made me relook at how the whole show is. Interesting. You'll have to tell me when I get there. Yeah. But a, a debate between amongst my friends right now, well, I guess specifically just one friend, is uh, um, Sopranos or Breaking Bad is which one's the better show? Breaking I didn't like Bad. I didn't like Breaking Bad at all. I like this. Oh, oh, you can go fuck yourself. What? I got you're into, a chemist? Uh, Are you autistic? What yeah, because almost on. none of it is good. 
Well, God. it's not action. What are you talking about? That is such a hot take. I think if you if if you pulled, I think America I got with with Sopranos or the Breaking Bad, everyone on the West Coast will say Breaking Bad. Everyone on the East Coast will say Sopranos, but I think majority will be Breaking Bad. I got the episode three or four are Breaking Bad. Do you watch the whole thing? No, I got the three or four are Breaking well, Bad. I'm go. like, this sucks. You can't even take his word for a, it. Breaking Bad is such a different show by the end of it than where it started. Yeah, but you know? then I can't, you can't tell me to watch One Piece and wait 500 episodes. You know what I mean? Like, I, I watched, not, that's I watched, like an I, infinite long fucking series. I watched one episode of Breaking Bad. I said, this doesn't seem like it's for me. And then I, I moved on. Yeah. It's funny because realistic. It, 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 realistic. It, is, it, is, it is like almost a known fact that Breaking Bad has like the best pilot episode of like any TV series. Like that's like yeah. an argued thing. Is that, that true? Like it, that's the truth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you ask a lot of people like what's the best pilot episode, a lot of them will say Breaking Bad season one, episode one. I Okay. I, I'm gonna beg to differ, but I don't, I'll think it. Well, I think the, this wasn't the my highest, kind of show. Yeah, I don't think it's the, bad. The highest rated episode of any TV show ever is the second Mash, to last though. episode of Breaking Bad. I think the best episode of of any show ever. I think the mm. ever best episode of anything ever is breakdown when Doctor Murphy goes. I am a surgeon. Oh my god! I am a surgeon. I, tried, I love I that shit. I tried watching clips from that. That show is so fucking cringe to me. I can't. I literally. I love that show. It is. So, oh my yeah, god! I love, I love the characters. It is my life. I love those fucking characters. Every character. Is so I hate good. any show. I, okay, I'm all for making fun of retards, but like. <laughs> I fucking cannot I can't handle a show where they're like I'm supposed to feel bad and they're acting like that like bro Love I guess yeah, if you can't immerse yourself in it like enough no, I I, totally okay, listen, listen, it. listen. Uh, seriously though my dad has Asperger's so I can say that but um <laughs> I have a black friend, so I can like, see the end. Just because, <laughs> just because you're autistic, I have a dumb friend. Just because you're autistic doesn't mean you can't be annoying or an asshole. And it, oh, <laughs> I true. really, I get annoyed by shows that are like, feel bad for this guy, and he's like, I get that. I, I assume that scene was because that the the main doctor or the the whatever doctor yeah, treated yeah, yeah. him differently because he has autism. But you bro, did. if you're gonna go into the fucking office and go, I am a surgeon. It's like shut the fuck. Oh, I am up. a surgeon. Oh my god! I I, like no surgeon. respect. I, I, I don't. It's I, an I, emotional I, scene, though. He's standing on the ground against Doctor Han. He yeah, is unfit just, to be a doctor if he can't emotionally control himself like that. I guess. Oh, okay. so you yeah. agree with Doctor Han? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> like I. So I. 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 I if you only see that scene, I can t- completely see where you're coming from. The context for that scene is so much adds so much to that it's scene. Every One Piece fan ever. Every One Piece fan ever. Uh, I I loved I love Good Doctor, but um, yeah. Did you see the scene where he's transphobic and the show kind of writes him as like because he's autistic he can't comprehend transgender Did you watch the people? Show? Uh, I've seen episodes. Yeah, I've not he, watched he, it actively. Okay, yeah, so was, autistic people yeah. can be transphobic. That's fine. Yeah, no, but yeah, like she, the show writes it like literally as like because he's autistic, like yeah. he only thinks in things like logically, and because of that, oh, he can't like emotionally connect with a transgender. Yeah. Well, yeah, like like the way that the show writes it is like this lady's transgender, and he's a doctor, so he needs to administer care to her, and he like freaks out on this transgender woman. Because like her biologics don't match what he's talking to, and he like freaks the fuck out about. Yeah, she's it. like, no, he, it's a man. He has a, there's a, he has a penis, and they're like, no, Doctor Murphy. <laughs> he, and he's he, like, I, he's like, no, that makes sense. He is a she, and she has something else. <laughs> Someone on Twitter saw that episode and just wrote like based as a reply, <laughs> and, <laughs> and just I I really I really like. I really, I really like uh, a good doctor. But my, my, I was gonna bring up after you talked about Breaking Bad. Isn't it crazy the hype around Game of Thrones and then how the last few seasons went? Nobody, has, nobody I talks never got about into it. Game of Thrones. Nobody I want to watch. I want to watch, watch Game of Thrones eventually. But they're I haven't too seen long. it either. The episodes are <laughs> too fucking long. Stop. So here's here's my opinion, and I because I want Alexis to watch it because it is really good. I say stop watching it. Season six, kind of a cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. Season seven and eight are not worth watching. Not just not worth watching, straight up. Um, yeah, but when a show gets that bad, don't you kind of want to like, 
Like everyone talks about how bad it is. You kind of want to be a part of the conversation. You kind of want to just know, like curiosity. Yeah, but it's like, like it's like too well far. It's, it. it's like too far. Now it's been like three, four years since it ended. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's not even worth it at this point. But um, it's it's just crazy how big that show was, how popular that show was. Everybody, like almost everybody, with the exception of a few people, was what was watching that show weekly. You know, every every mm-hmm. week it would come on. And then it, the season seven and eight were so bad that nobody talks about it anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so crazy. That how, it, how, but was the last two seasons not based off the books because the books weren't made yet? The last like three that? seasons were not based three off the seasons? books, but season six was well, I heard was it, good I enough. heard it deviated from yeah. the books like as soon as season two happened. I, I heard it, I, well, it devi- uh, deviated sure, yeah. and completely is, is so there's completely new content and then deviated. Deviated, yeah. you could say early on. But completely new content. I think it was season six and seven and eight were completely new. Maybe five as well. I think it was six though. Um, but it it just blows my mind how much D and D fucked that. Um, fucked the last few seasons. And then I I don't know if you guys know this, but they were supposed to work on Star Wars after Game of Thrones. And I don't know who it was, but they were like, "What the fuck is season seven and eight? We're good. We don't need you." To D&D, um, they just can't. Which, well, really, like, they like fired the directors. You know, I don't know if it was because I, of season seven and eight, but I, it's like it happened. Like Zach, I don't know if you know this about The Sopranos, but uh, I think it's every episode, if not like at least every other episode, has a different uh, primary director. Hmm. I'd have to, you know, I'd I, have to double check that. But they do they not rotate in or out, or is think, like different oh, every single time. I don't think it's. I don't think it's 75 <laughs> separate directors or however many episodes there are, but right. I think breaking bad similar too, where they have like a yeah. team of directors and a team of writers and like, they all like pick and choose. So, this, so there are like a couple plot holes between episodes, but you, I, I, to be honest, I didn't really, I only noticed a couple of them and it's, it doesn't hinder it, but I just thought that was an interesting fun fact because normally like I think Game of Thrones probably had the same director up until the last season or something. You know, that makes sense. I remember, I think this was season one spoiler alerts for season one of the Sopranos. And in fact, I don't even remember, um, most of the actual plot line, but there's an episode in season one where, okay, to set this up for context, you're watching the Sopranos and it is like what the Sopranos is, you know? And then I want to say it's like episode six, it's like Meadow, the Sopranos family daughter, is playing soccer. This was maybe mentioned like once before, but I'm a ghoul. Sorry. Yeah, I'm her a ghoul. playing soccer was maybe mentioned like once before, but like it was never a focal point of anything. And then randomly on episode six, the Sopranos family is obsessed with soccer. Like at the dinner table every night, they're bitching and moaning about the soccer game. And then something happens with the soccer team coach. And then it's a whole thing with the, you know what I mean? And it's just like, and then it never comes up again. Like just randomly, yeah. like there's just one episode where it's all about soccer. And I'm like, the fuck? Clearly there's subtext to it where it's genuine. It's about well, something else, can, but surface level, there's a soccer episode. I think and I'm there's like, what? also, I think there's also like something the that, episode from breaking Ben. something that we missed. And I feel like I kind of, we would be very similar to someone who's never seen South park is I'm sure that there was probably something big going on at the time. And there's, a, there's also like sweeps weeks. A lot of those shows have like cliffhangers for like they're scheduled, like a lot of older shows scheduled shit around. Uh, like cliffhangers and stuff like that. Come on. But what's in your yeah. thought? Fuck you, mm. bro. Just mm. trying to scoop up this. Wait, kid. why am I frozen? I don't know. You're not frozen. I'm frozen for me. Oh, now you are frozen. Yeah. Is there, is why do there... I look like oh. that? Yo, big Triss. Whoa, I'm back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big T dog. Oh, yeah, whoa, what the but I'm glitchy though. Yeah, what the heck? You good? Are oh, they brought the big rib back? And they said it was gone forever, and it's not even a year, Dude, and they was, bring the McRib back? I was hoping you were going to like marketing. link to your video about it or something. Wait, you made a video? Link to my video. I made a video, you made a video about, it. about it. I made a video about the McRib? Yeah. Like, like a year ago, icon maybe. or something like that. Oh, yeah. Go watch that. Also, speaking of McDonald's, <laughs> they introduced Mambo sauce. I don't know if you guys know this. It's like a sauce specifically to Washington, D.C., like – hood Chinese food restaurants. It's so absurdly oh, niche. Let me know when that, Mambo sauce number five comes out. 
<laughs> that was funny. Um, oh. But uh, like, Hello, you know, bye. it's it's so <laughs> absurdly niche that it's on the fringes of my knowledge. Like, I've had it once or twice, but like, it's it's like it's so absurdly niche to have McDonald's of all places pick it up. Just blows my mind. You know, no, like, DC's what's a regional a condiment of Connecticut? What's a regional food or condiment of Connecticut that Fresh people from off. outside of Connecticut? Fuck off, Sean. What's a regional <laughs> condiment or uh, fucking food? The green ketchup from McDonald's. I actually the don't know if there's any regional uh, Connecticut. I'm sure there's something. Um, Dijon mustard. I'll look it up. How about that? Honey mustard. Cool whip. Oh, Miracle whip. Do you think each state has their own condiment that's like dedicated wait, to them? Wait. Like a state flower? Is maybe. Maybe. I gotta maybe. go though. All right, okay, love you, Sean. Sean. Love you too. Love you. Nice seeing you guys. Nice seeing you. Is whipped cream a condiment? Whoa. Uh, I guess it can be. Hold on. There's a fucking oh, that's not a mosquito. Sorry, there's Bye, a hell of mosquitoes. Is it not? Is it no, not? Yeah, no, no, no. It is. I've seen I've seen ranch whipped cream. That is a thing. That's not a that and it's like you put it on like chicken nuggets. It's a real thing. Because it's it's dairy based, so it works. What is ranch made out of? Buttermilk and peppercorn. Yeah, what's accent? I don't even know what those are separately. <laughs> I don't know what either of those items mean. <laughs> okay, one of them is pepper corn, just the corn before you crack it of pepper. And then the other is buttermilk, the thing you can make fucking pancake batter and shit with. So Jimmy crack corn and pancake batter is what makes his ranch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ranch. I don't like ranch. So you don't like ranch? I thought ranch was. I, I hate it. ranch. Ranch dressing is disgusting. I think I knew that. What? Oh, actually, ranch dressing is disgusting. I, Mayonnaise is disgusting. Um, buttermilk, salt, disgusting? garlic, onion, mustard, herbs, and mix of spices. You can make ranch. I like every time I go to McDonald's, double double, spicy McChicken, ranch, buffalo Bro sauce. Bro just once said I will go to McDonald's and order a double double. Yeah, I get the two for three fifty. Come on. Oh wait, oh shit! No, did I talk about me getting assaulted at my McDonald's on this show? I ben. don't remember. Ben. Benjamin. Can he put his fucking headphones in? I'm waiting for this fucker to put his headphones in. <laughs> ben, did I tell the story on the show about me getting assaulted at my local McDonald's? No, but I want to. <laughs> but before you do that, I just got I got a prop because I thought it. I thought the prop was going to be um, messier than it was. Look how clean that is. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah ready for clean. you to move. But it's clean. <laughs> There's a little bit of like a little bit of like schmutz on this side. Some schmutz. Yeah, but I was hoping that was gonna be really dirty and I was gonna make you fall over and seize up. You seem to be doing good. All right, well go ahead. Sorry, what? So this was on my birthday, which right. is weird because didn't Happy we birthday, do an episode by the way. on my birthday? Or was it the day before? Why did I not tell this story? Day before. Oh, it was the day before we recorded mm-hmm. the episode. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, I've never told this story before on this show. Exclusive so, live. It's the right day of my birthday. The regurgitated podcast. I know that we're gonna go out for dinner later and do like a big dinner. But in the meantime, I just wanted like literally all I wanted was a uh, a cheeseburger with no onions just to hold me over. And there's a McDonald's right up the street, so I go drive up to that McDonald's and I say, "Hey, I want a cheeseburger with no onions." And they repeat it again. I'm sorry, what was that? And I go, "Well, a cheeseburger with no onions." And he just mumbles something and says, and I was like, okay, whatever. So I pull up to the front. I pay for the food. Keep that in mind. I've already paid for the food. And then they hand me a bag and I look in there and it's just a bunch of diced onions in a bag. And I go, I'm not paying for this. I clearly said, I want a cheeseburger with no onions. And you've just given me onions. And like, well, (laughs) you already have paid for this. And I was like, okay, I'm not leaving here until I get what I want. And the guy leaves in the back and then throws another bag of onions at me from the window. No, they, wait, no, no, no. You're, this is, you're making up a story. Why are no, you I'm fighting not. McDonald's workers? Because you got onions. You, they clearly thought you said not instead of no onions. They, you, they thought you said just onions Bro, for I whatever have a, fucking reason. No, they, they did not. They were literally throwing onions at me from the window. You have and I said proof? I was not going to move. I don't have a video of them throwing, but I do have the receipt that says like everything except 
it says like no salt, no ketchup, no mustard, uh, extra onions, extra onions, extra onions, or whatever, or something like that on it. Are you going to sue? Who is giving you, who is throwing onions at you? The McDonald's name employee. Name drop, name drop. I don't Say know his name. name. What was his ethnicity? From the fucking, sure you got from the receipt, is it up. not? Do they, I mean, I have a picture of the receipt. I don't think they have their name. It might say cashier. I tried. Name. I tried yeah. calling the McDonald's corporate office. They didn't do jack shit. You got you got assaulted with onion on your birthday. They fucking yes. threw I don't see anyone's name on this to receipt. Get out of here, bucko! It's not even your birthday today. Yeah, yeah. I would. I, maybe maybe the day after. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But your birthday, that's kind of fucked up. My mom was like, "You should have told them it was your birthday," and I'm like, "I'm not gonna get beat up and then tell them, but it's my birthday." You should start crying. <laughs> it's like, the but it's my birthday, thing. please. Um, I'm sorry that that happened to you, Zach. But I mean, yeah, you got a lot of dice onions. Company. Yeah, you got a lot I'm a of dice onions. Holder. I'm a shareholder yeah. of the McDonald's Corporation. Yeah, and you got a lot of dice onions. Like this and they stole from me and assaulted me on my birthday. So, so you left the McDonald's. With two bags of onions and no food, and then you're just waiting yes. to your dinner. Yes. You should have ate the onions. No. Was Still it were food. you being were you being over what overly aggressive when you got up to the window? Because it was no. so preposterous. Well, I was like, I'm just not paying for this. I was like, I don't know what happened. And they were like, no. Were you we laughing already. while you were saying it? Or you're like, I'm not paying for this, no, sir. I just, I just like I'm not paying for this. This is not you know what I ordered. And they were like, Well, you already paid for it. And I was like, I'm not leaving <laughs> like i'm getting my food and then you didn't you took see, the L. see 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 listen that's a risky okay because if they gave you your food 100 percent, they spit and came on your burger that's like that almost risky. guarantee so yeah it, it's a, it's a fine line of like trying to be polite but also like give me my food you could have parked the car and yes because like, they could do anything to that food you know what i mean <laughs> so it's like very true I I don't know how I would have handled that situation. I probably would have shot up the place like a good man does. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, right. a, like a Samaritan. Is, like is, a is this Samaritan. your normal McDonald's? Yes, this is the one right up the road. I still have yet to go back. No, you have to go back and record, please. No. Have a GoPro on your forehead. <laughs> Wait, that's a great <laughs> well, idea. It comes in. back soon. If it, was, if it wasn't doxing you, because you just said it was right up the road, that would have been great content to bring your phone there and be like, bro, remember when he threw... Fucking onions. Well, I don't onion. even know who it was. I don't even know which employee, like theirs, was responsible. Him out. It was him. It was that guy. It was that. He's in the back. It was that guy. He fucked me over. He was chucking onions at me. Yeah. Fire him. I've had. I've. I've worked in customer service jobs where, like, customers. Not me too. Customers have tried to like tell managers to fire other employees. So, like, you got to fire that guy. He's I've terrible. been in that environment. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. I don't think I've ever. But nothing to ever happens from it. Yeah. Never. Never. Never happens. So I'm just going to waste my energy and look like a fucking cock tease in this, in this establishment at a McDonald's. That's really unfortunate, Zach. I'm sorry that, that you didn't get time, your burger. You know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm an adult now. I'm a, I'm a fucking adult. And now, now the kids are picking on me, you know? When does your insurance run out? Uh, 26. Is, well, I, think, I don't know if 26. it's countrywide. Is it 26? Well, so 26 is the cutoff. Yeah. But as I said earlier, I'm ghosting my dentist because I'm in the middle of being kicked off my parents' insurance. Because I'm not. You're being. Um, you're being go ahead. Hmm? He has a full time. Well, job. I don't know. We got a letter saying I need to prove my eligibility, so I need to prove that I'm still going to school and shit, which I'm not. So I'm probably getting kicked off. Oh, I, I can show you. Hold on here. I can show. I can show you. Definitely won't put my address in here, but. Well, showing us in his insurance documentation. That's I probably, also can't really see his screen that well, too. He's like just, kind of blurry. Just straight. Just just a lot of. Ca- they spelled my name wrong. I could use that and be like. What's Tristan? Okay, you, you spelt it. Honestly, I-N. that's not an awful idea. But it's A N, and you know, just like twelve hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, fifteen hundred dollars. Just like yeah, and then okay, listen. So I go in because this tooth saw cracked, it's all fucked up. I'm like, okay, get the root canal, whatever. Painful. Numbed it up a little bit. There's four root canals in the one tooth. I was in the dentist office for five hours with my jaw wide open and it was extremely painful. He gets it done. He's super, he's like the vaguest fucking, de- I'm like, so how much is this going to cost? And he's like, well, you know, the insurance covers this money. Maybe you're going to do this much. So he like, wouldn't tell me how much it's going to cost. And then I'm like, okay, so when does the crown come in? I'm going to come back when the crown comes in. He's like, well, you know, it kind of 
takes like a week for the damage. So he's like, you can come in on this day. And I've been in five times to this dentist's office, five separate times. And he's just doing more. I feel like he's price gouging me. He's literally like, oh, well, you got a, a problem here. So we got to fix that. And we got this over here. So we got to fix. I'm like, I came in for the one tooth and now you're fucking up my whole mouth. Okay. And now you're just yep. charging me. Yep. So yep. I'm like, well, what is, what am I paying for? What's going on? And I'm going to ghost him like I, every fucking female that asks me to be in a relationship. So fucking boom, bro. Um, I do. I want to, I want to tell a dentist story. Did I ever tell you the story? Either of you, the story of when I got 17 cavities. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a ridiculous uh-huh. amount of cavities. That's a ridiculous That's amount, a of, cavities. Stupid amount of cavities. Were you like eight years old? How many teeth no, do you have in your mouth? Like, I was, I was 25, four. Oh, so you have no real teeth. Okay. So listen, I'll tell you exactly what happened. It is, it is a rabbit hole that anybody could fall down. I just got unfortunate. So honestly, I'm probably right there with you. I yeah. went to Dunkin' Donuts near my, <laughs> the office I was in. That's when he knew. <laughs> That's how the story says. I went to one Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> during, never again. During this pumpkin time of year. Pumpkin spice season. Pumpkin yeah. you spice the, you season. You got the ice spice. There you go. I, and I, I didn't get the ice spice. Um, <laughs> but I would go in there and I'd say, can I get a hot, large um, Man. I, uh, a pumpkin spice? I almost said ice spice coffee. Pumpkin spice coffee, light and sweet. You know what light and sweet means? They had only four 60 sugar, grams. Yeah. So they had five sugar and four cream, right? Jesus Christ. Atop the swirl, the four swirls are already putting in. I, did, I just didn't want to correct them. So for a month, I was drinking this ridiculously sweet coffee. For, it was actually more like a month. For about a month, I was drinking this ridiculously sweet, sweet coffee. And I would, and first thing in the morning, like 9 a.m., and I would, it would sit on my teeth until I, I would brush my teeth in the afternoon. So like it would be on my teeth for 12 yeah. hours, probably Yeah, for a month, almost every day for a month, every, every, every weekday, every business day. I go into the dentist confident because I've been brushing my teeth twice a day. My brother, they go, I, I, they're playing around my teeth and I see, hear, see them right. Teeth right. And I'm like, what the fuck? Teeth they're right. The, the, the lady, I like her. She's like, you got 17, you got 17 uh, cavities, bud. Jesus said, Christ. What do you fucking mean? And she's like, they're all extremely small, like to the point where I don't even know if we can fill them. Wow. And I said, well, what happened? Not connecting the dots. And then I, and I, then I ended up connecting the dots and I told the, the main dentist, I was like, I was like, yeah, I think I'm just stupid as fuck. And he was like, yeah, we don't have to, fi- we only have to fill like six of these. So you still have, you have 17 cavities. So I, ha- I still have 11 of these small baby cavities. Well, hey, you should give a second opinion. America no. runs on Duncan. You know what I mean? America, dude, my teeth were running out of my <laughs> mouth. It's what was happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Absolutely. It, it, no, it was, it was a like ridiculous amount of cavities and everybody made fun of me for it. And it is funny. I mean, that's, that's, that, like, that is a com- comedic amount of cavities to get in a... In a How in many for, teeth do you have in the mouth? The moth is here. Only 12. 32. Oh. Okay, so more than half. You're running like a what? 51%, 52% cavity rate. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty cool, man. Yeah, it sucked ass. I felt I felt like a stupid ass. I mean, I think there were more than more than one uh, like a per tooth. Sometimes. Zach. Tristan. Zachary Levin seen the 14th? That's it. When am I when am I driving out to a location near you? Oh shit. <laughs> okay, listen. So uh, there's a spot. There's a spot. Waterhole Canyon Trail. It's right next to Horseshoe. You're gonna uh, murder me? No, no. It's it's right next to the Horseshoe Bend. Horseshoe Bend. I'm That's gonna go way up there. North. I'm gonna go there sometime soon. I'm trying to bring this female with me, if you know what I mean. Ooh. Um, Honestly, and then maybe I murk my way down, come see you, give you a little handy, and then make my way back home. You have no money, uh, right, Tristan? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. Listen, I have enough money to survive until January. Uh, but like with all this dentist shit, yeah, yeah, no, I'm absolutely broke. So I'm just gonna see how how long, how much it is to get you here. It's probably it's probably not that bad. I don't know. I bought a ticket three four months out to Hawaii for like 125 bucks one Dude, way. If you came out here January 7th to January 13th, I just put random dates in. Okay, you could get you could get here. For a t- two less than two hundred bucks, 
That's not bad. Nonstop. I leave the seventh though, so it'd have to be before that. What do you leave for? What did I tell you? I'm moving to Hawaii. Did I tell you? I Motherfucker! I you. Now, now what? Uh, it is wow. Sure. Yeah. Answer your question though, Tristan. I'm gonna be pretty busy this month and December. I'm planning some travel, so November is probably your best bet right now. All right, November we'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. I, I I went. I got hired by someone to go film a triathlon where they bike and they run and they swim. It's very fun. I got paid like 250 bucks and then, you know, it was just like a half day shoot and it was uh, definitely something I want to get more into. I'd ra- I, I, I like editing. Editing's cool, but I think I like videography a little bit more. So I like videoing stuff and uh, I've been taking photos and I've just been trying to stay active because bro, last week, holy shit. I was like, maybe I was like, 40 percent towards like killing myself like i was like very depressed i was like super oh. super duper depressed because i just that was just so blood i'm sorry i don't mean no, to laugh literally, I, was just I, was, so blood. I was like almost 50 50 of like oh let me just toss a coin and i'll end my life right now uh but yeah, yeah i was just so i'm just trying to keep myself busy and you know just keep myself from uh doing what inevitably will come which well, is I'll tell you what. Our death. Come, come out here to Arizona in November, and that way it, you can't kill yourself because it'd be very rude. Yeah, that, that would be okay. rude. You don't want to be rude. That no, is true. Deal with a bunch of shit. <laughs> and just, <laughs> <laughs> just froze again. <laughs> He's like directly uh, in the middle of saying something. November would work though. I, I, I'd come out to November for like a week, um, or not a week, like a couple days, like two days. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my I my mom's friend is like, I have a van that I want to give away to us to like my family van so giveaway. I might have a can, we, can we give away a van for we the show? We give away a van on the show. <laughs> we'll do a live bang bus for a, van, for a very <laughs> special van. Make sure to leave a comment if you want to enter in for the <laughs> you bang, bang bus someone for a van. <laughs> yes, you know, you get paid in the van. Paid in van. Oh look at yeah yeah I can sh- I can send Ben this but these are all photos of like the tooth. Oh yes, I remember this. Yeah yeah, yeah. just just not fun. <laughs> His other ones. Oh, it's still frozen. There you go. Now that was alive. very rude of you to leave during that, was that so moment. So rude. See, now it's forty five percent. Now you're you're getting me up there. He froze again. There's no. There's actually no way. Oh, I was taking photos with uh, this female. Oh yeah, good ones. Very can prestige. we show them on the show? She was like, "I can send them to you. They're good photos." Oh uh, yeah, please do. <laughs> it's still the same thing. It's literally two copies of him with the same face. Oh, that's funny. Is it really? Yep. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought it was gonna freeze again. Jesus Christ. After this, Ben, we should maybe wrap it up because of yeah, all this yeah. uh, tomfoolery going on. Unless you had something important you wanted to get to. No, I just wanted to, I just, the only thing I wanted to say was what I was trying to say before I lagged out. Tristan, Mm -hmm. I have a, I will, I will, if you want to fly, if you are down to fly out beginning of January before the 7th, I will will fly you out to, to Cleveland and we can do IRL content. Actually, that would be insane. If you want, if you don't want if you don't want to, that's fine. But it, it, I, I would, I would love to do that because Wait, the, because I, I just the 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 Hawaii flight is nine hundred dollars compared to the two hundred oh, oh. to get you here from LAX. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, let me tell you because I, I I leave so, on the seventh, so maybe it could be the days before, like maybe like the third, fourth, or something like that. Yeah, because. Zach is coming. Which, which, when are you coming, Zach? The thirtieth, the forty thirtieth, and for, what the fuck? I don't have a specific. First? I don't have a specific day. I just know that I'm using a bunch of time off in December to go to Virginia, and I was, and I'm already traveling a lot at the end of this year, so I have no plans for January. So I thought, fuck it, I'll take a weekend or something. You um, should. Hey, when Zach gets in, then. Whatever dates you go, if but the it's but the, the issue is like before the seventh is difficult because the only like weekend time I'll really have is like New Year's Day and shit. But I already have like plans yeah. around then, yeah. so 
Yeah, uh, we'll yeah. just we'll, we'll schedule it around Zach. We'll see what Zach can do or not do, and then we'll, okay. we'll we'll get you out here. It's all on Zach's time. I say out here like I'm there, but I'm not there. That's cool. Yeah, my, my internet's completely down at this point. By the way, I I am on I'm on fucking four G. Okay, Tristan, tell. send me those nudes. Everyone else, we love you. I said okay, yeah, love you very much. Oh wait, I put it on my portfolio. Wait, do you see me? You do you see me? A, I see you. Uh, you're frozen, but I'm sure you're recording. Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, it's the last we'll ever see of him in Connecticut. That's, that's the last. I know. I I put my portfolio in my the room? chat and then the photo. Yeah, do a house tour. It's the last the last time you'll see this house. Yeah. How do I flip? Can I flip the camera? All right. Hmm. Well, <laughs> he's on. He's literally gone. He's in the depths hey guys. of a long forsaken hallway. Dark hallway. Which now oh, shit. How am I going to try it? I need to make use of chat GPT. Zach, let me ask you something. Yes. Or will it be finished? This is my room. Bro, I'm trying to get shit done. Wow. Did you punch a hole through the door? This door? Yeah. Are they like repainting no. that? Yeah, because I, it's all fucked up. I, it's, it's been in my room for 20 years. Jesus. So. How much are they, uh, how much they list so yeah. in the house for, huh? They're making a little profit? I think it's like, dude, I think it's like nearly to... 500. Oh, not bad. Not bad. You don't have to yeah. oust yourself. But yeah, I know Zach, you're trying to get shit done. So. Uh, we can end this bitch uh, now. Um, I just want to say I love you, Zachary. Bro, ben, Ben's been spooky. Love you too. Love you very much, Ben. Yep. Zachary. I'm very spooky. I love the fans. Um, Are you guys IRL content spooky? coming soon, I hope. If, you're, if your fans donate, and, so um, that way we can we can all meet. meet yeah, bang. everyone send Zachary meet, and Ben bang, bang, $5. Send money. Come on. Send them 5 bucks. Well, you got 5 bucks now. Yeah, send, send them ben, money. We're if starting everyone a Patreon that watches where this show has exclusive content. <laughs> if everyone that watches this show sent us three dollars, we'd have enough money for lunch. So yes, and a bag of onions please. from McDonald's. Yeah, Chicken, please. You gotta, get, you gotta get a bag of fucking diced onions. <laughs> I'm gonna get McDonald's in um, just because we talked about it so much. Okay, I want to try the fucking Good night. sauce. But I love you guys. Uh, we're, uh, have a have a great night, uh, all the fans, and we'll talk to you soon. This episode was scuffed as fuck. This is the last episode I'm going to be in Connecticut. Um, so good game, boys. Bye, Connecticut. Love you, Connecticut. He's just you progressively. Soon. <laughs> he looks like a juggalo with a shadow in that last shot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Goodbye.